फाउंडर ईसा योगा सेंटर सदगुरु यागी वासुदेव जी मिनिस्टर फॉर आईटी फ्रॉम दी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट श्री टी एम तंगराज जी डिस्टिंग गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन ओंग नम शिवाय ओंग नम शिवाय ओंग नम शिवाय I bow to all that is Shiva, which means Shubha. All that is auspicious, gracious, benevolent in this universe. I feel specially blessed today. Earlier in the day, I had the good fortune of having the son of Meenakhi Amma. I prayed before the Mother Goddess for the well-being of all. I feel blessed to be here on the holy occasion of Mahasivaratri in the presence of Adi Yogi. I am sure you too, like me, are feeling the special vibrations of this ambience. We are sensing a form of energy flowing through us that makes the whole cosmos alive. I was only last week that was I in Baranasi, the first of all, the abbots of Shiva. And I had a darshan of various manifestations of the God. In the Kasi Vishwanath temple and in the Kalhoyavit temple, in the end of December, I had the good fortune of praying before. Malikarjan Swami at Sri Sailam. And now I am here in the foothills of Veliangiri Hills, which is the Dakin Kailas, another award of Swayambhu Lord Shiva. We refer to Lord Shiva as Father, a Shiv Baba, yet he also appears in the form of Adi Narishar, half male and half female. It points to the masculine and feminine sides of every human being and is an expression of the ideal of balancing the two, what we call gender balance today, comes, comes alive so beautifully in that image. Sometimes I wonder if Shiva is the sum total of all our religion, feelings, and spiritual thinking. Consider the various paths to the ultimate realization and liberation, which can also be called mukti, mokya, or nirvana. Various traditions around the world speak of the path of devotion of bhakti, the path of wisdom, of jnana, the path of yoga, and so on. And Lord Shiva is the only one who is perceived to be the guiding light on any of these paths. Whether a seeker is a devotee of a person god or a jnani, seeking the absolute or a yogi, striving for the spiritual union, taking refuge in Lord Shiva is sure to lead to the objective. In the same way, Lord Shiva is a deity for all, as he appears in his various manifestations matching each of us. He is a householder, a family man, like most of us. But he is also a sannyasi who has renounced everything and dwells in Cremation grounds of eight of mountains. He is the first yogi, the Adi yogi, and he is also the first jnani, who, for example, is said to have inspiration, Panini's grammar system, 
one of the tallest intellectual achievements of humankind. Lord Shiva, as the name implies, is a benevolent deity, and yet in countless myths, he is also depicted the ultimate fearsome deity, as revealed in another name for him, Rudra. This might be why both Lord Rama and Ravana worshipped him. This why he is the symbol of both kinds of energies, creative and destructive. He indeed transcends such fears of opposites because his destructive drives is also creative. Leading to the regeneration and rejuvenation of the cosmos, it is this aspect of Shiva's personality that comes alive in the Tandav dance, which he also performed on the hill not far from here. What can we mortal do before a god like this but to be in a way and bow down in worship? That is what I meant when I began this address with the mantra Om Namah Shivaya. Adi Sankaracharya wanted us to know and realize the eternal Shiva within all of us. He says in his melodious Nirmana Sastakam, No me mutta sanka, no me jatir bhedo, pita neva, me ne me neva mata no janma, no bandhur, no mitram, guru neva, sishya, chidananda rupam, sibaham, sibaham. It means I have no fear of death, no caste or creed, I have no father, no mother, for I was never born. I am not a relevant relatives, nor a friend, nor a teacher or a students. I am the form of consciousness and bliss. I am the eternal Shiva. To the non-believers, all of this may should like a matter of belief and myth. However, it is astounding that modern science has also begun to unravel some of the, the secrets of Shiva. In the early 20th century, age physics broke new ground and scientists made images of the movement of subatomic particles. They found tracking lines very similar to the movement of a dancing Shiva. A notraj is depicted in traditional sculptures. What I am studying is, of course, a well-known theory. It shows that the ancient seers, in their deep meditation, perceived the true reality of the universe and expressed it their own language and symbols. Lord Shiva symbolizes nothing but that absolute. That is why many learned non-believers to remain astonished by Lord Shiva. Ram Manohar Lohia, a staunch socialist, was an agnostic too. But he understood that supreme phenomenon called Lord Shiva very well. In an essay titles, Ram and Krishna and Shiva, he wrote in 1956, while Ramo and Krishna led human lives, Shiva was without birth and is without end, like God, he is infinite. But unlike God, his life consists of events in time and many landmarks, and he is therefore more non-dimensional than God. He is perhaps the only non-dimensional myth or concept known to men. There is certainly none other than that can reach him in this respect uncut. Fellow seekers, today is Mahasiburaratri, which is most parts of India, marks the end of winter and beginning of sunny days. Mahasiburaratri thus also marks the end of darkness, the darkness of ignorance 
and opened the path of enlightenment. For those in search of higher ideals of life, today is an especially significant occasion. We also happen to be in the presence of a renowned Rishi of modern times, Sadhguruji, who has done more than the best to propagate the teachings of our past masters in all corners of the world. Countless people, especially young from India and abroad, have found in him the inspiration to make spiritual progress. Moreover, Sadhguruji has been teaching us about our social responsibility too, through his words as well as action. Today, the world demands a stone in strife as ever, but it is also facing an unprecedented ecological crisis. The need for a balanced and compassionate life in harmony with Mother Nature and all its great children was never felt so pressing as it does today. May this mass laboratory dispel darkness inside us and lead us all to more fulfilling and progressing life. I wish you a happy fun journey on this part, as this saying goes. Sibaste Pantano Hosantu. May the spiritual light of Mahasibaratri brighten our path every single day in our lives. Thank you. Namaskar. Om Namasibayo. Joy Hind. Our deep gratitude to Madam President of India and also our beloved Governor and Honorable Minister of Tamil Nadu, please. This is a day. This is not of belief. This is not about going to heaven. This is not about seeking solace. This is a day for everyone to commit themselves to become genuine seekers. You can become a genuine seeker only if you're humble enough to peel your eyes and see how much do you know of the world that you live in, how much do you know of the being that you are. If you look at this, you will see what you know if you know something would be a minuscule. When you realize, I do not know, you're a natural seeker. This has been the culture of this nation, of this land, where we have always been a land of seekers. Though we are different kinds of people, every fifty kilometers you drive, we look different, dress different, eat different, speak different, but we have been one nation for thousands of years. Always, even people outside this country refer to us as Bharat or Hind or Hindustan, this is because one common thread was we were seekers, we were never believers. Seekers of what? Seekers of truth, seekers of solutions for life both outside and inward. Not wanting to believe something, but willing to seek solutions, seek truth. Not willing to arrive at conclusions, not seeking solace for the moment, but solutions for life today and for the deeper life that is within us, which is the very source of life. And it's our great pleasure to have the President of India. <laughs> she tried to get all of you to say Om Namah Shivaya, which you failed. Hope you do it at least with me. <laughs> Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya These five syllables of this mantra represent the five elements, not only that, this is a a fantastic geometry of sounds. 
If one learns to use this, it will unhinge you from all those things which keep you hanging in life. All those things that you're swinging from, it'll unhinge you from all that to go on a straight path towards inner development, towards a blissful existence, not of ups and downs, but always soaked in bliss so that the process of life is never burdensome in your experience. Especially at a time like this, which Madam President also referred to, when the world is looking at situations where across the world, even the World Health Organization is talking about a mental health pandemic. It's manifesting in so many different ways. In the last three years, at least you learned the meaning of the word pandemic. That means in this crowd, if there are hundred people who got some problem, by the... by tomorrow morning, everybody will have it, that is a pandemic. But we are talking about a mental health pandemic. That means if there are hundred people with some problem like that, in certain period of time, everybody will get it, that's what it means. Because subjectivity of human beings are very connected, it is... we are not separate existence. So when at a time like this, instead of <laughs> bringing sciences which will help to settle the subjectivity of a human being, we are moving towards alcohol and drugs and things like this. This is very important at a time like this, this Mahayoga Yagna that our president lit today is very important because in the next twenty-four months we are committed to bring a simple form of yoga at least to two billion people on the planet. This needs to happen for the well-being of humanity. Once again, our gratitude to Madam President for being here with us on this auspicious day. We only wish you could be here for the whole night, but I understand. Uh, <laughs> so, please, uh, I want to hear one roar of celebration for Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing now for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated in your enclosures until the President has left the premises. As Sadhguru bids goodbye to the Honorable President, we will continue with our program for Mahashivratri. And I request all of you to please remain in your enclosures. The Honorable Governor will join us in the front row for the Mahashivratri 2023 program.
Panchabhuta Kriya is a powerful process designed by Sadhguru to cleanse the five elements in your system. It helps stabilize body and mind and is beneficial for those with disturbed sleep or a constant sense of fear. Conducted in the Dhyana Linga every month, the process is also available through online web stream. Participate in Panchabhuta Kriya from your home. Register at isha.sadguru.org slash pbk And now, our homegrown band Sounds of Isha, a group of musicians inspired by their deep yearning and sense of gratitude. They are volunteers at Isha Foundation, giving musical expression to Sadhguru's grace in a unique style. They have performed at several prestigious festivals and events around the world. Let's welcome our very own Sounds of Isha.
guitar player. Over the years, he has emerged as one of a kind musician who has transformed the face of India's beloved musical instrument, the sitar, by making it more popular among music lovers around the world. Here's presenting to you the classical fusionist who plays the sitar with a Z, Niladri Kumar. If you're feeling tension, anxiety, your own intelligence is turned against you. If you understand all human experience is coming from within, how can you not engineer yourself to perfection? In engineering, essentially means to bringing yourself to a state where all the faculties of being human works for you. Register to empower yourself and create a joyful and fulfilling life. Imagine if you're very exhausted and you hit the bed and then you wake up in the morning, you feel very fresh. That's how I feel after my 21 minutes of Shambhavi Mahamudra. It actually makes you more conscious. I used to just eat unconsciously everything, every time after Shambhavi Mahamudra. Even before eating, I'll be like, why, why am I eating this? You become very aware and that's very important in my field because you're trying to be another character there, you're trying to forget yourself. I feel that uh, that calmness has come. Once you start not letting anything affect you externally, then you tend to be more cheerful. So I think it, it has really helped.
नमस्कार ओम नमः शिवाय थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस वाज आवर साउंड चेक वी विल स्टार्ट द कॉन्सर्ट नाउ बट बिफोर आई डू दैट आई क्विकली लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस द मोस्ट फैबुलस म्यूजिशियंस ऑन स्टेज टुडे ऑन ड्रम्स इज नन अदर द सन of the great jazz legend from india mr louis banks gino banks <coughs> probably the most incredible drummer in this part of the world on tabla is another son of the great vidwan of india the tabla virtuoso pandit suresh talwalkar ji is one and only son satyajit talwalkar <laughs> on keys is one of the most sought after programmers from bollywood agnello fernandez and last but not the least the youngest member but the probably the most prolific young percussion is today in india he happens to be the grandson of the legendary ustad allah rakha khan sahib the nephew of ustad zakir hussain and the son of ustad taufik qureshi shikhar nath qureshi
Envisioned by Sadhguru, Project Samskriti is an endeavor to nurture and showcase the magnificence of classical Indian arts as possibilities for inner transformation. Project Samskriti will now present a performance titled Panchaksharam, a celebration of the highest possibility, the five sacred syllables Na, Ma, Shi, Va, Ya. Every year, millions of devotees participate in the night-long Mahashivaratri celebrations at the Isha Yoga Center in person as well as online. Creating a conducive atmosphere for offering a powerful spiritual possibility on such a large scale requires enormous effort and resources. We invite you to contribute towards Maha Annadanam, the sacred offering of food to the devotees and also towards other arrangements to help devotees experience this sacred night of Shiva, the Adi Yogi. Know the joy of fulfillment by contributing towards the spiritual well-being of humanity. Start your day with Sadhguru with free guided practices and tools and access Sadhguru's timeless wisdom on a wide range of subjects on the new Sadhguru app. The app also includes a repository of chants, powerful meditations and daily processes. Download the Sadhguru app and take a step with Sadhguru towards a life of joy and fulfillment. Located near Nandi Hills in Bengaluru, Sadhguru Sanidhi includes many energized spaces for self-transformation. Nada is a powerful deity consecrated by Sadhguru for health, prosperity, overcoming obstacles and exploring the mystical dimensions of life. There are several rituals and processes. Dosh Nivarana Arpanam, Kal Sarpaseva, Naga Aarti and Naga Snanam for one to benefit from Naga's abundant grace. Devotees can also participate in the Yoga Sandhya at the Yogeshwar Linga every day, as well as the spectacular Adi Yogi Divya Darshan. Sadhguru Sannidhi is open every day from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Everyone, irrespective of caste, creed or religion, is welcome to benefit from this space. Designed by Sadhguru, Purnanga is an opportunity for you to live and grow in the lap of a realized master. Purnangas commit themselves to a minimum of three years to establish themselves in sadhana. The program offers the participants an opportunity to be a part of Sadhguru's vision to craft a conscious planet. In human life, if life allows us a privilege that we can create something which is bigger than ourselves. That's the greatest privilege. There is no greater sense of fulfillment for a human being. In the yogic system, the period between 3.20 a.m. to 3.40 a.m. is known as Brahma Muhuratam. This period is considered the most significant time of the day for spiritual sadhana, as there is an extra support from nature. process for which you have been initiated for. It bears maximum fruit because of the way the planet is behaving in relation to your system. Suddenly a certain spark of aliveness will happen within you. Stay awake and stay tuned during Brahma Muhuratam and experience the power of this auspicious night of Mahashivratri in the presence of Sadhguru. Sadhguru Exclusive is a unique video streaming platform with the largest catalog of authentic mysticism. Explore the mystical Kailash and Mansarovar, powerful consecrations by Sadhguru, Dream Yantra, Chakras, Enlightenment, Death and much more. These materials are things we have spoken in close groups. They are very potent stuff beyond what is generally offered to the public. Register now to get access to unreleased videos. Hatha Yoga is a way of aligning the geometry of your system with the cosmic geometry so that you are a perfect receptacle of everything that's worth knowing. 
Learn classical Hatha Yoga in its full depth and dimension at the powerfully consecrated Isha Yoga Center. Pranam Sadhguruji from all of us on stage our Shashtang Pranams to your feet for us that you are playing for us thank you very much I heard you here almost 20 years ago nice to have you back here so once again ignite everything please <laughs> Sadhguruji for us uh, to play on Mahashivratri is basically through you we reach the divine. So it's only through you, if I, we can get you to hear our music means we are reaching the divine through you and it's you. So we are all here in your Magnificence, thank you so much for giving us this love and blessing. It means the world to us. It's something unforgettable in our lives. Thank you so very much. In your, on your, I just offer this last piece of ours. Uh, we haven't decided anything, as you know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. They have no clue what I'm going to play. And I, actually, even I don't have a clue what I'm going to play, but I will see what's possible. Pranam.
Sadhguru's vision that every human being lives in a consecrated space. At Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in Tennessee, Sadhguru is creating a spiritual city, a vibrant community focused on conscious living. It is also a powerful space for self-transformation and offers a wide range of classical yoga and meditation programs to support one in living a life of joy and fulfillment. Visit Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in Tennessee year-round. I feel like the four days that I've been doing it, my heart rate just dropped like a four beats a minute in the last couple of nights. And uh, my sleep is so much better, so much better. People ask me all the time, what was one of the greatest moments in my life? And I'm gonna say my life or my career, because in my career it be the UFC belt, but in my life it's definitely be surrounded over here for four days. Envisioned by Sadhguru, Project Samskriti is an endeavor to nurture and showcase the magnificence of classical Indian arts as possibilities for inner transformation. Project Samskriti will now present a performance titled Panchaksharam, a celebration of the highest possibility, the five sacred syllables Na, Ma, Shi, Va, Ya.
Chitashekaraya Vasishta Kumbo Baba Gautamaya Munindra Deva Chitashekaraya Chandaka Vaishwa Narado Chanaya Tasmai Vakaraya Naman Shivaya Tasmai
Mahadeva 
चल भी तू अंबर भी तू ही है धरा ओ हुआ पार तेरे नाम से तू नाम के परे मिला चल भी तू चल भी तू अंबर भी तू ही है धरा मृत्यु का रहस्य तू हर सास का तू देवता सब लोग तुझ में है बस कण कण में तू ही है बसा संहार में रुद्र है सृष्टि का भी मूल तू संहार में रुद्र है सृष्टि का भी मूल तू हर रूप में अरूप तू बसा हे शिवाय शंकर आय हे महेश मुक्ति दाय हे शान हे त्रिकाल हे दया निधे हे शिवाय शंकर आय हे महेश मुक्ति दाय हे शान हे त्रिकाल हे present a special collaboration of musicians who are from different traditions and musical genres. They are musicians by profession, but devotees at heart. Today they will offer a special devotional tribute. Let us welcome on stage Mangli Kutle Khan, Ananya Chakravarti, Nihar Shembekar, and Meenal Jain with Sounds of Isha as they present Sounds of Soil. you're doing. Dear Sadhguru, one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation. Could I ask for the Muslim World League, we are completely ready to help you. I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action, an action in such a way that is it's implementable. It is implementable and we will see a distinct change in the coming few years. The movement that you are taken up as a soul scientist, I could not expect any more God's blessing than that. Uh, you've inspired me to think about soil very differently.
I request all of you to come together and join the Conscious Planet Movement to save soil. Our soil needs nourishing. Save soil. Let us make it happen. Save soil. Let's make it happen. My full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side. You honor the people of this country. Thank you. I want to thank you very much. Sadhguru Ji ne yatra ki apne aap mein bahut bada kaam kiya hai. और मुझे पक्का विश्वास है कि दुनिया को मिट्टी के प्रति स्नेह तो पैदा हुआ ही होगा लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला होगा Soil is not our property. It's a legacy that's come to us from previous generations and we must pass it on as living soil for future generations. I'm not afraid. 
ಬಾನು ನೌರಿ ನಟಲಿ ಕೈ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಮಜಾ ಕರ್ತಾ ಈಗ ಐ ಗೈಸ್ ಹಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಅವೇ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ನೈಟ್ ಆಪ್ಲೇ ಪೂರ್ಣ ರಾತ್ರ ಜಾಗ ರಾಯಚೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಪ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಜೈ ಮಲ್ಲಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ಶಾಲ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಯಳಕೋಟ್ ಯಾ ಬಾತ್ ಹೈ ಶಂಭೋ ಜಾಣ ಮರ್ವೆ ಚಲ ಮೇಲೆ ನು 
सुबा पे जो मोह माया नमक लगाए रे के देखे न भाले न जाने न दाए रे दिशा हरा के मन बोका मन तारे दिशा हरा के मन बोका मन तारे दिशा हरा के मन बोका मन तारे शहरा के मन बुका मन तारे भेद जाए दीवारे प्रेम कोई सिंध लागे लागे रे लागे अगर मगर बारी बारी जिया को यू बुझा दे जिया नहीं गेंद लागे लागे रे लागे माटी को ये चंदन सा माथे पे सजाए रे सुबह पे जो मोह माया नमक लगाए रे न भाले न जाने न दाए रे दिशा हरा के मन बोका मन तारे 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 ओ प्राण पाखी
जाए कर दीना When someone is affected with cancer there is a lot of anxiety and fear within them some of them have to undergo chemotherapy which causes a lot of side effects the most important being getting tired very easily chambavi mahamudra is a powerful process that approaches the inner core of the individual in a scientific manner there is ample evidence that yoga has immense benefits so doing the inner engineering program helps to reduce the levels of tiredness and also the stress levels significantly come down which plays a huge role in the healing of the body mind and soul of that patient sadguru social media platforms offer eye opening insights on various aspects of life and his profound wisdom has transformed millions of lives around the world it's given me much more clarity i was able to connect science with mysticism discover the timeless wisdom of a realized master and embark on a journey of self transformation consecrated by sadguru linga bhairavi is an exuberant expression of the divine feminine Powerful rituals and offerings at Linga Bhairavi assist people in every step of their life from birth to death. These offerings create an opportunity for one to receive Devi's abundant grace and realize their full potential. You can register at lingabhairavi.org/arpanam to make these offerings online. Project Sanskriti is an endeavor to nurture and impart India's classical arts. designed by sadguru it offers programs to learn powerful chants music bharatnatyam and kalari payata conducted by the rigorously trained students and alumni of isha sanskriti the art forms are imparted in their most profound form as possibilities for inner growth and transformation body mind energy 
should become your tools, that you can use them effectively. Once you put in a certain amount of sadhana, then you see, suddenly your body and mind behaves and it works for you. No matter what life throws at you, you will see that nothing really knocks you off, doesn't matter what. When we say Shiva exists in Kailash, his work, his knowing, everything that he knew, he stored it in this place. It is the greatest mystical library on the planet. If one has the necessary ability to access, everything that you wish to know about the existence is right there. I don't think you can ever remain the same after going through this experience. For a spiritual seeker, there's really no better place to go. I did Inner Engineer 2016-17. Being a sports person is mind over matter for us. You need to learn to control yourself, control your mind, control, save your energy. This is with Shambhavi and Inner Engineering where it teaches you to conserve and generate energy and ride when it's required when you're on a match day. Go out and show what you're capable of. One big movement that's happening right now is the farmers producer organization movement. Today we are managing twenty-five former producer organizations. In the next year or maximum eighteen months, we want to make this into twenty-five thousand farmers. This can be scaled up into a massive possibility. A farmer producer organization or FPO is a company formed by farmers. With Isha's support, 25 FPOs are being established in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka to bring economic well-being to 25,000 farmers. Farmers are being trained under Isha's guidance to become entrepreneurs, which will enable them to lead and manage large FPOs. These FPOs will help raise farmers' income and productivity. Money from the sale is deposited in our bank account. It is that easy. Today, when we market or produce, we receive a good response. Many doors are opening for us. This is because of the trust and goodwill people have for Isha. Now we feel excited about agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, as you continue to enjoy the Mahashivaratri celebrations, a word of caution to please take care of your belongings and any small children that you have with you. Each year, ladies and gentlemen, as we add more elements to the celebrations, may I also remind you that Satguru's discourse is coming up, so you need to stay awake and keep your spine erect during the meditation. We would like to welcome into our midst a few honoured guests who join us today, and we'd like to do so by offering them flowers. You need begin with the Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs and Culture, Government of India, Sri Arjun Ram Meghwal. We also have the Minister of Education, Puducherry, with us, Thiru Namasivayam. The Member of Parliament, Telangana State, Sri Santosh Kumar. The Member of Parliament from Kolar, Sri Muniswami, the President of the BJP of Tamil Nadu Chapter, Thiru Annamalai, the National General Secretary of the BJP, Sri C.T. Ravi, and the Member of Parliament from Taini Constituency, Thiru Ravindranath. The members of the Viliangiri Uravan Farmer Producer Organization are going to join Sadhguru to make an offering of fruits and to seek his blessings now.
the Veliangiri Uravan Farmer Producer Organization. The members will now make an offering of fruits to Sadhguru and seek his blessings. And as a token of gratitude, the farmers will offer Sadhguru the National Best Emerging FPO Award, which they received recently. Isha's Farmer Producer Organization initiative aims to transform the Indian farmer's life from distress, debt traps and desperation to one of happiness, prosperity and sustainability. The Viliangiri Uravan Producer Company began its operations under Isha Outreach's guidance in November 2013 with over 1,000 farmers and has experienced rapid growth with its turnover multiplying more than 3,000 times to reach over 66 crore rupees. Based on this success, Isha Outreach has been accredited as a cluster-based business organization by the Government of India. As part of this initiative, 23 new FPOs have been formed which will be supported by Isha Outreach over the next five years through business planning, structuring, recruitment and other core activities to ensure sustainability and profitability. You can see the award being presented to Sadhguru, the National Best Emerging FPO Award which they received recently. And we hope that this will be taken forward and replicated in more parts of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, we now draw your attention to the indigenous bulls that you can see in the plaza in their majestic glory led by the beautiful Kala May I request you all to please give them a rousing welcome Our beautiful indigenous bulls in the pastoral culture of Tamil Nadu, bulls and cows pay an integral part of people's livelihood. The Tamil people have a deep reverence and intimate relationship with them. And far from being pets, these glorious animals are active working members of the family in agricultural societies. And they are crucial for providing us sustenance, preserving our ecology and, of course, saving soil. on stage, we are happy to present to you Kala, the resident bull of Isha Yoga Center. All the bulls at the Isha Yoga Center are native Indian breeds. This is part of a significant effort to preserve these native breeds which are facing unprecedented decline. A round of applause for our majestic Kala.
Every year, millions of devotees participate in the night-long Mahashivaratri celebrations at the Isha Yoga Center in person as well as online. Creating a conducive atmosphere for offering a powerful spiritual possibility on such a large scale requires enormous effort and resources. We invite you to contribute towards Maha Annadanam, the sacred offering of food to the devotees and also towards other arrangements to help devotees experience this sacred night of Shiva, the Adi Yogi. Know the joy of fulfillment by contributing towards the spiritual well-being of humanity. Sadhguru Ji, अपने सेव सोयल कैंपेन के लिए पूरा वर्ल्ड वाइड बाइकेट जा रहे थे तो थ्रू दारा भी उनको पास हो गया ना था तो हमें अपॉर्चुनिटी मिला था कि सदगुरु जी को वेलकम करने का तो मैं मेरे क्रूमेट्स ने परफॉर्म किए थे उनके एनर्जी देखे तो हम फुल चार्ज हो गए थे यही एक चीज़ है एक पर्टिकुलर रीज़न है जो मुझे भी इंस्पायर किया कि इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स करना चाहिए हमें भी कि हमें भी इतना ही एनर्जेटिक और इतना ही पॉजिटिव वाइब दुनिया को देना चाहिए क्योंकि तो कोई एक जैसा डेली रूटीन पर रहते हैं उठते सुबह उठते काम पे जाते काम से आते सोते फिर वापस मतलब एक साइकिल था है अपना इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स करने के बाद मैं खुद पर फोकस करने लगा इट इज़ अ प्राइसलेस कोर्स विच यू आर गेटिंग फ्राम आ ग्रेट ह्यूमन जो फुल ऑफ पॉजिटिव वाइब्स है और तुम्हें भी पॉजिटिव वाइब से भरा देते हैं Sadguru Exclusive is a unique video streaming platform with the largest catalog of authentic mysticism. Explore the mystical Kailash and Mansarovar, powerful consecrations by Sadguru, Dream Yantra, Chakras, Enlightenment, Death and much more. These materials are things we have spoken in close groups. They are very potent stuff beyond what is generally offered to the public. Register now to get access to unreleased videos. Sadhguru has opened up several possibilities for one to experience and become receptive to Adi Yogi's grace. As part of this, tonight Sadhguru will consecrate over 5 million Rudraksh beads in the presence of Adi Yogi and the Yogeshwara Linga. These Rudraksh beads will be distributed across the world as Rudraksh Diksha along with other consecrated prasadam which would be immensely supportive for one's spiritual sadhana wearing a consecrated rudraksh bead is supportive for physical and mental balance it also assists one in meditation cleanses the aura and shields one against negative energy the rudraksh diksha is offered free of cost and to receive it please register at isha.co forward slash rd if you are in india you can also give a missed call on 83000 to receive the registration link via sms the rudraksh beads that are consecrated by satguru on this auspicious night of mahashivratri will reach your homes free of cost if you have successfully registered to receive them you can also register to gift rudraksh diksha to your family and friends we hope that you can make use of this offering for your own well-being and of your loved ones संसार सहोद्रतार नौकायिताभ्याम गुरुभक्तिताभ्याम वैराग्य साम्राज्य दूजनाभ्याम नमो नम श्री गुरुपादुकाभ्याम कविवराशाकराभ्याम दौर्भाग्य
विष्णु पद विय नल्ले नल्ले रुद्र पद विय नल्ले नानु मत्ताव पद विय नल्ले नहीं नानु मत्ताव पद विय नल्ले नहीं कुडल संगम देवा कुडल संगम देवा Say this after me. Yog Yog Yogeshwaraya Bhuta 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 Shwaraya काल काल कालेश्वराय शिव शिव सर्वेश्वराय Shambho, Shambho, Mahadevaya. Namaskaram to every one of you, all of you who are here and those of you who are watching this from your homes, from different parts of the world, namaskaram to every one of you. <clears throat> Mahashivratri 2023, why is this so important? <clears throat> One thing that we need to understand is Mahashivaratri is not only a religious festival, it could have become that over a period of time. But essentially, it is an event celebrated based on the planetary positions and also the astronomical positions that our planet and solar system takes on this particular day and creates a situation where there is a natural upsurge of energy. For this or to make use of this, the simple requirement is you should keep your spine erect, vertical I mean, not horizontal, vertical, stay awake. And if you can also be focused towards your inner well-being, you could immensely benefit. And above all, being here at the foothills of Wellingiri, the most important thing is we are here at eleven degrees latitude. This upsurge is at its highest at eleven degrees latitude in the northern hemisphere and we are sitting right on it right now. So, this is of immense benefit when energies are naturally trying to go this way. If you are this way, that is not the best thing to do. In your home, if there are sleeping people, wake them up at least at this time and uh, it will make a lot of difference. 
Oh, I slept through every Ma Shivratri, nothing happened to me. That's exactly what I'm saying, nothing happened to you. Because in our lives, loss does not mean we have to lose something. Loss of potential is also a terrible loss. And unfortunately, this is a very big loss that's happening to humanity for various reasons, because our survival process in the modern world is getting so complicated. It engages you for an entire life, 365 days, just to make arrangements for your shelter, food, family, and the needs keep going up endlessly. Because of this, entire life is invested in survival process. One important thing about Mahashivratri is, this is also an effort to cross the instinct of survival and touch the other dimension within you, which is always longing to expand. The two most significant milestones of survival process in our experience of life is food and sleep. When the stomach goes on fire, you must eat. Whatever, whether you want it or not, this goes down, so you must go down. These are the two basic survival processes, food and sleep. So on this day, you are also not supposed to eat, but you know, I'm not being so hard on you, but at least the sleep, if you transcend that, in many ways, the fundamental instinct of survival will be transcended. So I stayed awake till twelve o'clock, well that you did with the night show also, that's not the big deal. You must stay awake beyond the Brahma Mahurtam, that's three forty, and till the sunrise, because in this one thing is you're keeping your spine erect, make use of the upsurge, another is you're making an effort to cross the boundaries of instinct of survival and arrive at that aspect of being human which wants to expand limitlessly. If that has to be fulfilled, first and foremost thing is, you don't have to give up food and sleep, but they should not be compulsive factors in your life. Today is a good day to try this, that sleep is not a compulsive factor, we stay awake. Ratri, Irvati Ruti Mundru, in the Nigger Way, in a near Diahum, near Alayahum, Ulakin Palapari in the Patrakum, Anivarakan Namaskaram, in the Mahashivaratri in Mukiamana the Indral, in the Samayam Sarnda Veda Matumalla, in the Kuripit and Arlil, Cold Hill Nodaya, Nelay Padahil, Vani El Nodaya, Tanmehil, Ahiavayalam. Or Manidanke, Yelva Have Amanda Sakti, Mel Noki Selvadarke, Sala Hamana Sunala Kindana. In a way, Yindri Teve Padakudya, Mika Kurinda, Nibandana Yanavandral, Ungal Mudugat Tandai, Nimurinda Nalaile, Vaitar Kavandum, Ulnilay, Vidi Punar with Patrium Kunjam Gavana Todar Kavandum. Yindri Kuripaga in the Valley Ingali Mari Adivaratri and Amurkurum, Vadapulatil. Migacharyahe, Padino or degree, Sai Gonatle, Nam Irkuro. In a way, the Kudal Paintara, Kudi or Amsam, Ipur the Ningal Vital, Irin the Neralil Parpirayanal, Vital Yara of the Tungi Kundarandal, our lay, Eripi Vingal, is the Mikam, Mukiamana or Taruna Maha or Lake, Amai Kudum. Celeber Solvar Hill, Nangal, Itane Andakalahe, Magasevara Tril, Tungi Kundan Irkuro. Younger Kedum Nadaka will lay in Barkil, Unmaidan, Ungul Kedum Nadaka will lay. Yet the Nadaka Vendumo, other Nadaka will lay. Yen and the Sonal, Yurkindra Wondre, Yerapa the Kumatum, Yerapu in the Payal Lay. Yet the Sayakudi a Sati Mungal Kirkado, and the Sati at the Yum Ningal Kaibidu Hilayanal, Adum or Yerapa Hawe Karadapurum. In the Navina Ulagatul, Munutri Arvata in the Nadkalum. Unavu Tedavadar Kahum, 
குடும்ப தேவைகளை நிறைவு செய்வதற்காகவுமே போய்விடுகின்றது இன்றைய மகாசிவராத்திரியின் இன்னொரு முக்கியத்துவம் உணவு சார்ந்த உந்துதல்களை கடந்து விரிவடைய வேண்டும் என்கிற உங்கள் உள்நிலை பரிமாணத்தை தூண்டுவதற்கு இது சரியான நாள் ஆகும் எனவே இன்று பொதுவாக உண்ணவும் மாட்டார்கள் உறங்கவும் மாட்டார்கள் நான் உங்களிடம் அவ்வளவு கடுமையாக நடந்து கொள்ளவில்லை உங்களுக்கு உணவு தரப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஆனால் உறக்கம் என்கிற உந்துதலை நீங்கள் தாண்டுவீர்களேயானால் அது உங்களுக்கு மிகவும் நன்மை தரும் இன்று நள்ளிரவு தியானம் வரை மட்டுமல்ல பிரம்ம முகூர்த்த நேரத்திலும் சூரியோதய நேரம் வரையிலும் நீங்கள் விழித்திருப்பது அவசியம் இதன் மூலமாக சக்தி நிலை மேலெழும்புவதை நீங்கள் பயன்படுத்தி கொள்கிறீர்கள் என்பது முதல் விஷயம் இரண்டாவது விஷயம் என்னவென்றால் உங்களுக்குள் இருக்கும் குறுகிய எல்லைகளை சில உந்துதல்களை கடந்து விரிவடைய வேண்டும் என்கிற உள்நிலை விருப்பத்தை நீங்கள் நிறைவேற்றுகிறீர்கள் எப்படி தமிழ் என்ன தெம்ப தூக்கமா ஒன்னும் கேட்கல எனக்கு த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரே ஆஃப் சான் இட் ஷுட் பி எவ்ரி டே அட்லீஸ்ட் டூ டே த நெக்ஸ்ட் மார்னிங் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரே ஆஃப் சான் ஷுட் ஃபாலோ அன் யூ நாட் அண்ட் சம் இன்செக்ட் ஆர் வேர்ம் ஆர் பேர்ட் ஆர் ஆனிமல் யூ ஷுட் பி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் டு கேட்ச் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரேஸ் ஆஃப் சான் Why I'm saying this is, just now, an hour ago, somebody was asking me, Sadhguru, you eat very little, but you are so energetic and on all the time, how is this? So I was trying to explain, let me tell you this. On an average, for most human beings, nearly sixty to seventy percent of the energy that they exhibit in their life, comes from the food that they eat, only thirty to forty percent is from sunlight, water and the air that they breathe. If you can easily reverse this proportion, that only thirty to forty percent of your energy comes from the food that you eat, rest comes from sunlight, water and air. If you just do this, Food and sleep is not a problem in your life. They come when they come. <laughs> These are two things that never come on time for me and many of us here. Food and sleep comes when it comes. Well, somebody will tell you, if you don't every day eat on the dot, you will not be healthy. Well, we are healthy. <laughs> if you are so concerned about health, that itself is a sickness. But there is sickness in the world, especially last three years, there has been pandemic. Well, many of us have lost so many people who are dear to us, almost every one of us have lost somebody. It was an unfortunate happening, but at the same time, it is important to know a respiratory infection like that need not have taken such a large toll of millions of people, if only if we had made ourselves little more resilient, little more in tune with nature. If we had done this, we would not... it would still happen probably, but it would not have been such a big tragedy. Definitely I can say this, by looking at the people in the ashram, we have not lost a single person to COVID, we have also been active, I have traveled around the world in these three years, mixing with millions of people. I have not had a cold or a fever in these last three years. This is not magic, this is proper management of life. Nālai muttumalla, inni yellā nārkalilum, sūriyar nūdaya mudal kadar ungal mēl vila vendum. Yedho oru pūdu pūtsi in mēl vila vendum, ungal mēl vila vendum, ungal mēl vila vendum. என்னிடம் சிலர் கேட்கிறார்கள் சத்குரு நீங்கள் மிகவும் குறைவாக உண்கிறீர்கள் ஆனால் எப்போதும் சக்தியோடு இருக்கிறீர்களே என்று கேட்கிறார்கள் பொதுவாக மனிதர்கள் என்ன நிலையில் இருக்கிறார்கள் என்றால் அவருடைய சக்தியில் அறுபது சதம் முதல் எழுபது சதவீதம் வரை அவர்கள் சாப்பிடுகிற சாப்பாட்டின் மூலம் வருகிறது முப்பதிலிருந்து நாற்பது சதவிகிதம்தான் சூரிய வெளிச்சம் தண்ணீர் காற்று போன்றவற்றிலிருந்து வருகிறது உண்மையில் இது தலைகீழாக மாற வேண்டும் உங்கள் சக்தியில் 
முப்பதிலிருந்து நாற்பது சதவிகிதம்தான் உணவிலிருந்து வர வேண்டும் மீதமுள்ள அறுபது எழுபது சதவிகிதம் உங்களுடைய சூரிய வெளிச்சம் தண்ணீர் காற்று ஆகியவற்றிலிருந்து வர வேண்டும் இதை செய்து பாருங்கள் உணவு உறக்கம் போன்றவை எல்லாம் பெரிய நிர்பந்தங்கள் அல்ல குறிப்பிட்ட நேரத்தில் சாப்பிட்டாக வேண்டும் என்று சிலர் நினைக்கிறார்கள் அது அப்படி அல்ல ஆரோக்கியத்தை பற்றி நீங்கள் எப்போதும் கவலைப்பட்டு கொண்டே இருந்தால் அதுவே ஒரு நோயாக மாறிவிடக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு இருக்கிறது கடந்த மூன்று ஆண்டு காலங்களில் பெருந்தொற்று காலம் நம் அனைவருமே ஏறக்குறைய எல்லோருமே யாரேனும் நெருக்கமான ஒருவரையாவது இழந்திருக்கிறோம் இது மிகவும் துரதிருஷ்டவசமானது ஆனால் நுரையீரல் தொற்று என்பது இவ்வளவு லட்சம் பேர்களை மரணமடை செய்ய வேண்டியிருக்கிறதில்லை உள்ளபடியே இயற்கையோடு இயைந்த வாழ்க்கையும் ஓரளவு எதிர்ப்பு சக்தியும் இருந்திருந்தால் இது நிகழ்ந்திருக்காது இந்த ஆசிரமத்தில் இருக்கிற மனிதர்களை பார்க்கிற போது இது எனக்கு தெரிய வருகிறது ஏனென்றால் இந்த பெருந்தொற்றில் ஆசிரமத்தில் ஒருவரை கூட நாம் இழக்கவில்லை நான் இந்த காலகட்டத்தில் எவ்வளவோ பயணம் செய்து லட்சக்கணக்கானவர்களோடு நெருங்கி பழகினேன் இந்த மூன்று ஆண்டுகளில் எனக்கு ஜலதோஷமோ காய்ச்சலோ வந்ததே இல்லை எனவே உள்நிலை எதிர்ப்பு சக்தியை மேம்படுத்தி இயற்கையோடு இயைந்த வாழ்வை மேற்கொள்வதென்பது மிகவும் அவசியமானது Why are we talking about the pandemic and illnesses? Mahashivratri, we are just supposed to celebrate. But to celebrate, you need health. To celebrate, you need well-being. To celebrate, you need a vibrant body, a joyful mind, and a heart full of love. Otherwise, your celebrate will only... celebrations mostly end up only in drunkenness because <laughs> Inside there is no celebration, you have to put things from outside. Let me tell you this, there are a lot of young people at the back, this will be interesting for them. Are they there? Is there anybody young? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <clears throat> right now, right now in the world, there is a, a wave of going towards intoxicants in a big way. Many nations unable to control the drug addictions, they are making it legal because... not because it's good for you, simply because anyway they're not controlling it, so they thought they will make money out of it by taxing it. So this is how it works. But for the individual, what does it do? Let me tell you this. Those of you who are in search of some kind of intoxicant, let me tell you this. Uh, in the last few years, a center, our center in Harvard Medical School run by some of the uh, very acclaimed scientists, both in Harvard Medical School, Beth Israel Hospital, and uh, Indiana University, Rutgers University, and University of California, many scientists here together, they worked. And what they found was that the largest unbiased gene expression research over two years revealed this. That is, there is a threefold increase in BDNF. This means brain-derived neurotropic uh, factors. These decide your capability of decision-making, how stable you are in your mind, how exuberant you are in your experience of life. And seventy percent increase in endocannabinoid production in the body. Cannabinoid means, for those of you who don't understand the word, I'm telling you of marijuana, self-made marijuana in the body. You are generating endocannabinoids over seventy percent, and anandamide is over seventy percent. Just for you to understand, to give you a context, this is much higher 
than what happens during a sexual orgasm. That is how it is for three months of practice of Shambhavi. And you remaining blissful is just a natural consequence of that. Instead of bringing yogi yogic practices to the world, the governments around the world are going about legalizing marijuana, legalizing cocaine, legalizing things, when the greatest chemical factory is right here, and you can manufacture what you want if you have little control over it without any negative impacts. And your ability to function in the world will be greatly enhanced if you take the same thing from outside. It will deplete your ability to act in the world. It will deplete your capabilities and competence. But if it comes from within, it is greatly enhanced. You see, Adiyogi, always drunk, not from outside. You look at me, always stoned, not from outside, but from within. Today we have laboratory proof. Oh, if it happens in India, of course it may not be true, but it's coming from Harvard Medical School. The only thing that you value. <laughs> but it's coming from the right place, I'm glad it's coming from the right place. And significant reduction in uh, <clears throat> stress levels and anxiety levels, even for people who are going through, uh, you know, traumatic experiences after being in war zones. It has worked miraculously well for them. All these studies will be published in the coming few months. Why I'm talking about this right now is, if we don't act now, World Health Organization is predicting a mental health pandemic. We don't want to go there. I want to live with healthy and joyful people, not people who have lost their balance. Hello, all of you. If you're mad with joy, if you're mad with love, it's okay with me. You're just mad, that's not okay. Anna? Mahashivaratri Kundatam Ingra Nilayil Nam Yem Perindotru Patri Pesinom Enral Kundada Vadark Sakti Vendum Udalile Valime Vendum Magitsiana Manam Vendum Anbana Ulam Vendum Palaperum Bodha in Bade Vilil in the Kulagra in Girikra Elanya Lik. Dor mukia mana seidi ahir ke kudum, tani mana dar kali, bodoh ini teri pohgera bodoh, sila nadi kali, adai katu pada tamudi amal erkin dana, awat teri satta puru makin dana, karanda sila ande kelil, Harvard medical kalhalik keragat tulum mayat tulum sari, namudi mayat tuod serendu, fala winya ani kali, betis sel India na California ponra, pasalik keragat kelo di ganain de. Sila fire chill ini merkulah kerana, anda fire chill sila perisodan ini sahaja putar kena. Marapan kecil, apa di tenggel tanmai ini beli putar kena ini pada sahun dah, ini darai chill, mukal pang, mula ini nahl tuhunda putar kudiya, narambiyal amsanggal ini pada ini orang ganjar ini dar kena. Ward ke ini ngel mudi beri putu, urdi yod beri putu, ward ke anu bawa ngel ini merkul beri ponda putar kelam, uriya rasa ya nanggel. Udali leh ye surak kira na. Yeru bade sahaja begitu ada bu. Udali leh ye abey uruwa kira na. Ur muntur mada kalam, siang bawi payici ye merkulak kudi orang lek. Itta kaya nilai uruwa kira di in bade in darai cin mula mak eh kandariya padi kira tu. Yena be, bodo ye katu padi tu mudi ada sila rasa anggal. Awat rei satta puru mak eh akwa dar ke badi lak eh. Ulang ingum inda yoga awi kondu sendral, awal hilul kulleye anda ananda tanmai surakum in badal ayam kira yad. Oru rasa ayana urputti in badu, ulle kulleye narakum bodu, beli ilirundu adai utkulu yadar kana teva yillai. Inda shambavi payirchi mer kulle gara bodu, sayal teran member gara bodu, beli ilirundu bodai purut kali utkulu gara bodu, sayal teran mikavum kurai gara bodu. Yoga yang baru, ulun lagi lahan dan tetapi uru waktu kuri uru payirci. Adan aldan, adi yogi, ipodum lahan dan tetapi leh irikar. Yennei paranggal, nani ipodum ur parawasat tetapi leh irikiran. Adu ulun lagi leh uru waktu kuri yang undur. 
இதை ஹார்வர்ட் மெடிக்கல் பல்கலைக்கழகத்தினுடைய பரிசோதனை கூடம் சொல்கிறது என்றால் எல்லோரும் ஒப்புக்கொள்வார்கள் அவர்கள் அவர்களுடைய அளவுகோலின்படி இந்த பயிற்சியினால் மன அழுத்தம் பதட்டம் ஆகியவை பெருமளவு குறைந்திருக்கிறது குறிப்பாக போர் எல்லைகளில் நிற்பவர்களுக்கு கூட அழுத்தமும் பதட்டமும் இந்த பயிற்சி செய்வதால் குறைகிறது என்பது கண்டறியப்பட்டிருக்கிறது இன்னும் கொஞ்ச காலத்தில் இந்த ஆய்வுகள் வெளியிடப்பட இருக்கின்றன மனநிலையிலான பெருந்தொற்று வருவதை பற்றி விஞ்ஞானிகள் பேசுகிறார்கள் நான் ஆரோக்கியமும் சமநிலையும் உள்ள மனிதர்களோடு வாழ விரும்புகிறேன் நீங்கள் அன்பின் காரணமாக உண்மத்த நிலைக்கு போனால் பரவாயில்லை ஆனந்தத்தின் காரணமாக உண்மத்த நிலைக்கு போனால் பரவாயில்லை வெறும் உண்மத்தம் என்பது ஆபத்தானது அது ஆரோக்கியம் அற்றது many studies across the world what they are saying is uh, sounds very dangerous just two days ago the cdc in united states is saying among the teenage girls one in three girls are depressive right now in america according to their study one in three 33% of the young girls are depressive a teenage person means this is an exuberant part of life where you must be bursting with life well generally how we have known them is when they are at that age without any reason they can laugh and giggle but now they getting depressive that is a bad sign for humanity this is being said by most top authorities in the world this is not to be taken lightly and as a part of this as a part of this we will be starting a global movement in the coming year this is important this is not a moment like safe soil that we go place to place and try to impress governments this is about the people this is about people means am i talking to you hello are you depressing Give me some life, come on. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is very important that every one of you, many of you have been through in engineering process and keeping up the practice, but there is a part of you who will do it once in uh, only on the full moon nights and some others only in mahashivratri and uh, you know like that so this is something we want to bring to the world that at least at least 2 billion people on the planet must be able to close their eyes for 12 to 15 minutes a day and do a simple process to turn inward either a chant or a meditative process or a kriya or even classical music or dance something which will turn them inward if we don't do this we will be living in a world if one in three are going to go off their mind they are going to be in our homes they are going to be in your families and having people like that is neither a pleasure for them nor is it a pleasure for you because handling a mentally unstable person is a terrible challenge this is something that you don't wish on anybody definitely it should not happen in your families so this is important that we understand as we do things for physical well being we need to do things to ensure that we are mentally well because mental sanity is not to be taken for granted the line between sanity and insanity is so thin if you push it you will cross it any number of times this may be happening the english expression says that when you get angry you say i am mad at you well you practice madness for a while one day you may not be able to cross back so this is important that as we take care of physical health as we address physical health we must address mental health before a problem arises because 
this is imminent with the kind of populations we have, with the kind of challenges we have in modern world, the way we are made to be active 365 days, which was not the case when people lived as hunters and gatherers, definitely it was not so. Even when we became agricultural societies, if people worked approximately hundred, hundred and twenty days in a year, rest of the time, it was all festivals and celebrations. But today, most of us work 365 days. Even if you are not going to the office, you are still working one way or the other. When we have to function like this, it's extremely important, a certain investment towards our inner well-being and our mental health happens for this many thousands of years ago, Adi Yogi gave us precious tools. The idea of Mahashivratri is to offer this to the world. This needs to happen in committed atmospheres. We will create various possibilities, both offline and online. Please make use of it. All of you who are here physically and those of you watching on the television or on the web, you must take this commitment that you will invest at least, at least fifteen minutes for your inner well-being every day. If you don't know any practice, just do this. Just keep your hands together, close your eyes, think of something which is very pleasant for you, maybe your child, your wife, your husband, your parents, your dog, it doesn't matter, a tree, a mountain, something that is dear to you. Just stay this way for fifteen minutes, it will do wonders to you. This is Namaskar Yoga, these two hands coming together will do wonders to you. At least this much you start every day twelve to fifteen minutes. Otherwise, we will teach you more complex processes which are far more effective, but at least this much every one of you must do. I didn't hear anything General. <laughs> <laughs> மூன்றில் ஒரு பெண் பதன் பருவத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பெண்களில் மூன்றில் ஒருவருக்கு கடும் உளச்சோர்வு இருக்கிறது என்று சொல்கிறது பதன் பருவம் என்பது வாழ்க்கையில் மிக அற்புதமான பருவம் காரணமே இல்லாமல் சிரித்து மகிழக்கூடிய பருவத்தில் இவர்கள் உளச்சோர்வில் இருக்கிறார்கள் என்றால் இதை சாதாரணமாக நாம் எடுத்துக்கொள்ள முடியாது இதற்காக நாம் இந்த ஆண்டு உலகளாவிய இயக்கம் ஒன்றை தொடங்க இருக்கிறோம் அது மண் காப்போம் இயக்கம் போல இடமிடமாக சென்று அரசாங்கங்களிடம் பேசுவதல்ல மனிதர்களாகிய உங்களை பற்றியது உங்களில் பல பேர் இன்னர் இன்ஜினியரிங் வகுப்புகளை நிறைவு செய்திருப்பீர்கள் ஒரு சிலர் அதை எப்போதோ ஒரு முறை செய்வார்கள் சில பேர் மகாசிவராத்திரிக்கு மகாசிவராத்திரி தான் யோகா செய்வார்கள் ஆனால் உலகெங்கும் சில கோடி பேர்களினுடைய வாழ்வில் நாம் மாற்றத்தை ஏற்படுத்த வேண்டும் குறைந்தது ஒரு இரண்டு பில்லியன் மனிதர்கள் வாழ்க்கையை நாம் தொடுவதாக இருக்கிறோம் அது ஒரு மந்திர உச்சாரணமாக இருக்கலாம் நாம் செய்யக்கூடிய கிரியாவாக இருக்கலாம் மரபு இசையாக இருக்கலாம் நடனமாக இருக்கலாம் ஏதோ ஒரு வகையில் அவர்களை நாம் தொட வேண்டும் ஏனென்றால் உளச்சோர்வோடு இருப்பவர்கள் வீட்டுக்குள் இருந்தால் அவர்களை கையாள்வது மிகவும் ஆபத்தான ஒன்று மனதினுடைய சமநிலைக்கும் சமநிலை அற்ற தன்மைக்கும் சிறு கோடுதான் இருக்கிறது நவீன உலகத்தினுடைய சவால்கள் உங்களை அந்த நிலை நோக்கி தள்ளிவிடக்கூடாது நாம் வேளாண் சமூகமாக இருந்தபோது கூட ஆண்டுக்கு நூறு முதல் நூற்றி இருபது நாட்கள் உழைப்பார்கள் மீச்சம் இருக்கிற நாட்கள் விழாக்கள் கொண்டாட்டங்கள் என்று இருந்தன ஆனால் இன்றைக்கு முன்னூற்றி அறுபத்தைந்து நாட்களும் அலுவலகம் போனாலும் போகாவிட்டாலும் நீங்கள் வேலை பார்த்து கொண்டே இருக்கிறீர்கள் இத்தகைய சூழலில் உடல் மீது நீங்கள் கவனம் செலுத்த வேண்டும் ஆதி யோகி உலகுக்கென்று அவர் பல கருவிகளை வழங்கினார் அதை மக்களுக்கு நாம் தர வேண்டிய நேரம் வந்துவிட்டது நேராக இருப்பவர்களும் சரி இணையத்தில் பார்ப்பவர்களும் சரி இந்த உறுதியை எடுத்துக்கொள்ளுங்கள் ஒரு நாளைக்கு குறைந்தது குறைந்தபட்சம் பதினைந்து நிமிடங்களாவது உங்கள் நலனுக்காக நீங்கள் கவனம் செலுத்த வேண்டும் அதற்கு மிக எளிமையான ஒரு பயிற்சி ஒன்றை சொல்லுகிறேன் இரண்டு கைகளையும் குவித்து கொள்ளுங்கள் இரண்டு கண்களையும் மூடிக்கொள்ளுங்கள் எதை நினைத்தால் உங்களுக்கு ஆனந்தமாக இருக்கிறதோ யாரை நினைத்தால் ஆனந்தமாக இருக்கிறதோ அந்த எண்ணத்திலேயே இருங்கள் அது உங்கள் குழந்தையாக இருக்கலாம் கணவனாக இருக்கலாம் மனைவியாக இருக்கலாம் வீட்டில் இருக்கிற ஒரு செடியாக இருக்கலாம் ஒரு வளர்ப்பு நாயாக இருக்கலாம் அந்த நினைவிலேயே ஒரு பதினைந்து நிமிடங்கள் கண்மூடி கைகுவித்து இருந்தால் 
இதற்கு நமஸ்கார் யோகா என்று பெயர் இந்த யோக முறை சின்ன அளவிலாவது உங்களுக்குள் ஒரு நல்ல மாற்றத்தை ஏற்படுத்தும் அதன் பின் படிப்படியாக இன்னும் பலம் வாய்ந்த கருவிகளை நாம் உங்களுக்கு தர முடியும் in creating the necessary reverberation within your system that works for you not against you we must understand today there are any number of studies showing this <laughs> we don't need studies but i'm keeping going back to this because today unfortunately we're living in a world unless it's proved in the laboratory what has worked in the world forever is of no value it has to work in the laboratory we appreciate that and so that's why i'm saying this there have been enough studies to show what is the impact of sound upon your body and upon your mind upon your chemistry which determines the nature of your experience different sounds do different things well when there is music on there is joy everywhere because that's what the sound is doing to you not necessarily you understand the words that is not the reason it is just the sound so a very basic aspect of organizing sounds so that they have the right kind of geometrical proportions to do or to create the right kind of impact upon us a, a sound like that or a system of sounds like that is referred to as mantras there are 108 sounds which can be arranged in various types of geometries to achieve different aspects of life or to create different kinds of impact upon ourselves this is called as nada yoga well we will not go into a whole nada yoga but just uttering a sound properly even for a few minutes does wonders to you on this day being mahashivratri naturally we will do the maha maha mantra which is also known as the panchakshara as i was saying earlier it means five sounds five sounds arranged in a geometrical pattern which has a tremendous impact essentially it has the impact to create a little bit of space between you and your body between you and your mind or in other words between you and your physiological process between you and your psychological process there have been many studies to show you know this is something unfortunately this generation is slowly losing it in our country where this profound sciences were very much a part of our living is when when a woman is pregnant what kind of sounds she should listen to was a <laughs> strong prescription nothing beyond that she should listen to but today because of the kind of lifestyles we have chosen a person who is pregnant has to go to work travel through traffic go through all the rigors of life that happens to every ordinary person because you are not just pregnant you are carrying the next generation you are in the process of making the next generation which is a tremendous responsibility so what kind of sounds studies have been made like this if you put the right kind of sound if the mother listens to certain kind of music the heartbeat of the baby comes down if she listens to something else which is aggressive the heartbeat of the child goes up i am saying a child a fetus which is in the mother's womb is already being affected by what kind of sounds or pitching on the mother's eardrums whether it's music or mantra or abuse or noise what is it accordingly the child's life is being shaped when this is how sensitive life is when this is how life is that everything around us molds us to become who we are today taking care of a few things uttering the right sounds being around the right sounds as much as possible it is not possible 24 hours 365 days for all of us we travel we work we, we we mingle in so many kinds of situations but at least the private times that you have 
if you manage this, that you utter the right sounds, you listen to the right sounds, it can have a tremendous impact both on your physiological and psychological health because these two things, without physiological well-being and psychological well-being, where can we talk to you about any higher aspect of life? If physically you're ill, who can talk to you? That's the only thing that matters. If you're mentally ill, no point talking to you. So I'm saying these two fundamentals are essential for us to climb to any other aspiration in our life, whether in the world, in career, in business, in life, in spirituality, wherever you wish to grow, it is only possible when physiological and psychological health is maintained in this direction, in this direction, the right kind of sounds have a tremendous impact. So at midnight hour, we will go into Mahamantra, if possible on the chair, please cross your legs and sit. If that is not possible, it's okay, but that would be the best way to sit. But make sure your spine is erect. <laughs> ஓசை சப்தம் ஆகியவை என்ன அதிர்வுகளை ஏற்படுத்துகின்றன என்பது பல ஆராய்ச்சிகள் மூலம் இப்பொழுது தெரிய வந்திருக்கின்றது சிலர் இசையை கேட்கிறார்கள் என்று சொன்னால் இசை புரிகிறதா என்பது முக்கியமில்லை ஆனால் அது ஆனந்தத்தை தருகிறது அப்படி ஒழுங்குபடுத்தப்பட்ட ஒலிகளினுடைய கூட்டமைப்புக்கு மந்திரம் என்று பெயர் நூற்றி எட்டு வகையான ஒலிகள் வெவ்வேறு நிலைப்பாடுகளில் சமன் செய்யப்படும் போது அது நாத யோகம் என அழைக்கப்படுகிறது முழுமையாக நாம் அதற்குள் போகாவிட்டாலும் கூட இன்று மகாசிவராத்திரியில் மகாமந்திரத்தை நாம் உச்சரிக்க இருக்கிறோம் அதற்கு பஞ்சாட்சரம் என்று பெயர் ஐந்து வகையான ஒலிகள் அதில் இருக்கின்றன இவற்றை தொடர்ந்து உச்சரிப்பதன் மூலமாக உங்கள் உடலியலுக்கும் உங்களுக்கும் ஒரு இடைவெளி உங்கள் உளவியலுக்கும் உங்களுக்கும் ஒரு இடைவெளி ஏற்படுத்தப்படுகிறது ஒரு பெண் கற்பமடைகிறாள் என்று சொன்னால் அவர் என்ன விதமான ஓசைகளை கேட்க வேண்டும் இசையை கேட்க வேண்டும் என்றெல்லாம் பழைய காலத்தில் ஒழுங்குபடுத்தி வைத்திருந்தார்கள் ஆனால் இன்றைக்கு வாழ்க்கை முறை மாறிவிட்டது பெண்கள் வேலைக்கு போகிறார்கள் போக்குவரத்து நிரம்பிய சாலைகளில் போகிறார்கள் எனவே வெவ்வேறு சப்தங்களுக்கு ஆளாகிறார்கள் ஒருவர் கற்பம் அடைந்திருக்கிறார் என்றால் அது வெறும் கற்பம் அல்ல அடுத்த தலைமுறையை உருவாக்குகிறார் எனவே அதற்கு சரியான ஒலி கூட்டமைப்பு அவருக்கு தேவைப்படுகிறது ஒரு ஆராய்ச்சியில் கண்டுபிடித்தார்கள் ஒரு ஒரு விதமான இசையை கேட்கிற போது நல்ல இசையை கேட்கிற போது குழந்தையின் இதய துடிப்பு கற்பத்தில் இருக்கிற குழந்தையின் இதய துடிப்பு சமநிலைக்கு வருகிறது வேறு விதமான சப்தத்தில் இதய துடிப்பு அதிகரிக்கிறது எனவே ஒரு நாளில் எல்லா நேரமும் இல்லாவிட்டாலும் கூட பெரும்பாலான நேரங்கள் நீங்கள் நல்ல ஒரு ஒலிச்சூழலில் இருக்க வேண்டும் என்ன ஒலியை கேட்க வேண்டும் என்பதை நீங்கள் உணர வேண்டும் உங்கள் உடலியல் உங்கள் உளவியல் இரண்டையும் உயர்த்தக்கூடிய அம்சங்கள் இசையில் இருக்கின்றன அதை நோக்கி நீங்கள் நகர வேண்டும் இப்பொழுது நாம் மகா மந்திரத்தை உச்சரிப்பதாக இருக்கிறோம் இருக்கையில் அமர்ந்திருப்பவர்கள் கால்களை குறுக்குவாட்டில் வைத்து கொள்ளுங்கள் முதுகுத்தண்டை நேராக வைத்திருங்கள் It's uh, good if uh, you stop all the moment, if you can just settle down, please. Yellarme ukandita nalarku. Those of you who are moving, please, if you can just settle down where you are, you can find your place right later on, please. So when you utter the mantra, the maha mantra, which is also five syllables, it's important you there are other aspects to this, 
of grating your breath and your awareness, right? Well, in a short while, it's difficult to convey that to you, but uh, at least this much you maintain, your spine is erect and your body remains still. Keep your hands facing upward, if you know what is yoga mudra, you can hold it, otherwise just keep it facing upward like this and slightly upturned face, don't... don't do this, slightly upturned face like this. Om Namah Shivaya 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 <coughs> Om Namah Shivaya 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 Om Namah Shivaya
Just sit still. Keep your eyes open and sit still. I say, Vila me ukandu kuno. Kandu karande ukandu kala. I say, Vila me ukandu kuno. Just sit still, eyes open.
<clears throat> I'm gonna confirm. Over 15,000 years ago, a being appeared in the upper regions of Himalayas. No one knew who he was, where he came from. The origins of this spectacular being were unknown. When his ecstasy allowed him some movement, he danced wildly. When intensity peaked, he became utterly still. People saw that he was experiencing dimensions that no one had ever known or able to fathom. His ecstasy and intensity allowed him to transcend his physical form. Witnessing an individual human in union with the cosmos, they called him a yogi as he was the first one, the Adi Yogi.
when his stillness lasted for years on end, curious onlookers melted away. Only seven seekers remained as they could not tear themselves away from him. He transmitted the profound science of yoga in its full depth and dimension. He expounded 112 methods of attainment, offering his disciples access to the deepest inards of creation. In this magnificent state of yoga, many mysteries of the created and the uncreated cascaded upon his unbridled wild hair. It was a vision of the very core of the cosmos in all its profundity and magnificence, a vision of the unfathomable mysteries of the universe, a most overwhelming vision the sages and Devi Parvati had ever witnessed. Devi Parvati, seeing Adiyogi, reveling in ecstatic states, said, I want to have what you have. Show me the way. Thank you. 
the yogi absorbed her and made her a part of himself and hence he is the ardhanari the ideal man where one half of him is woman Splendor of this magnificent union, Ghana's his constant companions asked, "What about us?" Adiyogi said, "Just drink of me," which drove them into intoxicated raptures. seven sages the saptarishis took the sacred signs of yoga in all its forms to human habitations across the planet which turned into crucibles of civilization spectacular being is not of the past but the future of humanity to move humanity from hallucinations of ups and downs to nameless ecstasies of one's interiority mahadevaya namaha mahadevaya namaha Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Each year, ladies and gentlemen, we try to have an interactive session, and we have received some questions from our viewers online and would like to request Sadhguru to address a few. <laughs> we begin with the first question that came from Dr. Swatantra from Kashi. What is Sanatan Dharma? <laughs> Jaya 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 Mahadeva Jaya 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 Mahadeva Shiva Shankar Adi Anant Shiva Shankar Adi Anant Jaya 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 Mahadeva Jaya 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 Mahadeva Wow! <laughs> what is Sanatan Dharma? Let's understand these two words. Sanatana means eternal. Dharma means, not as it is being interpreted today, dharma means the law, that which rules. Sanatana dharma literally means that that framework of principles or laws which rule life eternally. There are certain things which are seasonal. <laughs> there are certain things which are generational. There are certain things which belong to different eras. But there is certain aspect of life which is for always, certain framework, certain laws which are for always. So today, maybe <laughs> particularly in the political atmosphere, it is being seen as a certain identity. Sanatana means eternal. How can something be eternal unless it's all-inclusive? If something has to be eternal, it has to be all-inclusive, there is simply no other way. This and that cannot be eternal. Only that which embraces everything can be eternal. Many aspects of our lives are transitional, but there are some aspects of our life which are eternal. If you recognize and realize the eternal loss or the sanatana dharma of your life, I want you to understand this not as a cultural identity, but as a fundamental to our existence. Those laws, the framework which governs the fundamentals of our existence, this is sanatana dharma. A culture which invested heavily in this direction, a culture which made ultimate freedom or liberation or mukti or moksha or nirvana and many other names, which made that the main principle of life, got identified as sanatana dharma. That means, 
our fundamental goal is ultimate. On the side we do many things. People have businesses, people have families, people have careers, people have this and that. Pleasures, fads and compulsions, all these are sad business. This culture invested itself in such a way, the main fundamental focus of this life is ultimate liberation or moksha. So this culture got the identity of Sanatana Dharma because there are many longings within a human being. <laughs> when you're a little child, lollipop is the highest longing. As you grow up, it changes. When you are twelve, fifteen, one thing, eighteen, twenty, another thing, thirty, thirty-five, another thing. But if you examine your life carefully, if you look at the nature of your desiring very carefully, you will see the longing is to expand. Whatever you have, whatever you may be in your life, you still want to be something more. If that something more happens, you want to be something more. If that happens, you want to be something more. If you really look at it, you want to become limitless. This is the longing that the very nature of how human being is made is such that something within us does not like boundaries. Something within us wants to become boundless. If it finds an unconscious expression, if it finds a very physical expression, we call this sexuality. If it finds a mental expression, it gets labeled as ambition, desire, conquest, or maybe simply shopping. If it finds an emotional expression, we call this love. All these are longings to be something more than what you are right now. If it finds a conscious expression, we call this yoga. So in one way, I know some won't like it, but I'm not standing for election, so <laughs> So, in some ways, what you are recognizing as Sanatana Dharma, as a culture, is a mass application of yogic sciences. When you want to apply a profound science to a whole population, it needs to go through a certain amount of transformation. So that transformation, today generally, getting identified as Sanatana Dharma. But the most important aspect is that Sanatana Dharma means you are not caught up with the immediate needs of the day. Your focus is always pitched towards the ultimate goal of life. Day-to-day -day things you'll handle it to the best of your ability, but that does not determine the quality of your life, the longing that you have to become free, the longing to become one with everything. When you say free, you want to become free from your individual nature. In a way, you want to become free from your own existence so that you become one with everything. That's why I said nothing can be eternal unless it's all-inclusive. Sanatana Dharma, the only way forward if you ask me, not as a religion, not as an individual culture, not your culture versus my culture, but at some point, if human beings don't look beyond their individual and immediate needs and look for the ultimate well-being of who they are and what everything else is around us, well, there'll be no solution. But today, the world is moving in this direction. They may not be calling it Sanatana Dharma, but in many ways, the world is moving in this direction. 
how is it moving? See, one thing that's happening is nearly forty-two percent of European population these days are saying they have no religion. Thirty-two to thirty-three percent of the U.S. population is saying they have no religion. A similar percentage in UK is saying they have no religion. Actually, it is thirty-six to thirty-seven percent in UK. So, except in the developed part of the world, largely people are saying no religion. What this means is, the structures that were built up there in the sky, or to put it simply, the, s the heavens are collapsing in people's minds. Nobody want to go to heaven anymore. I have seen this in the last forty years. This year is going to be forty years since I started teaching. <laughs> so, in these forty years, what I have seen is, about twenty years ago, at least in the Western societies, if you asked a group of people, how many of you want to go to heaven? Eighty percent of the hands would go up. Today, if you go and ask a group of people, let's say a thousand people are there, you ask them, how many of you want to go to heaven? Very hesitantly, very shy and embarrassed, two, three hands will go up. Rest of them say, no. The young people don't want to go to heaven, because whatever the old marketing machine which has been telling you what is there in heaven is not attractive to them. They're asking, is there free Wi-Fi? Hello? You want free Wi-Fi in heaven? So because of this, in people's minds, heavens are collapsing. When heavens collapse, what will fill the gap? The immediate gap will be filled by alcohol, drugs and other things, because people are trying to make something out of their life. But they will tire of that. The more intelligent will look beyond that. Those who indulge also will get tired of it after some time, but it'll take its toll, unfortunately. Then what is it? Then people will look for the signs of well-being. That is what he stands for. This is why I said, ah, the yogi is not of the past, but a phenomenon of the future. Though it was well over fifteen thousand years ago, what he offered is a scientific, technological solution for the subjectivity of the human being. Not philosophy, not ideology, not belief system, not tickets to heaven, but the science of subjective well-being of the human being. Though millennia, so many millenniums have passed, never before human societies were really ready to address their subjectivity scientifically. Only now, this generation and the coming generations are for the first time beginning to think logically. This is the first time that such a large mass of people beginning to think logically. We may think they're thinking wrong, it doesn't matter, but at least they're thinking for themselves. Otherwise, in the previous generations, they were not allowed to think, Especially ladies, you must appreciate the times because just hundred, two hundred years ago, you were not supposed to think at all. If you did think for yourself, you would get punishment for that. In this culture, it was not so much so, but in the rest of the world, it was very much so, women were not supposed to think for themselves. So women are beginning to think for themselves, what it means is straight away, fifty percent of the world's population has come into thinking process. So that's not a small thing. And now that people are thinking for themselves, once you think, however crazy you think somebody is thinking, there is a logical process to their thought process. So now, seeking solutions, even subjective solutions, in a more logically correct way or a scientific manner will naturally come forth. When this happens, Adiyogi becomes super significant 
because he's already ready with his tools, one hundred and twelve ways. So, this is Sanatan Dharm as a science. As a culture, it functions differently. We don't have to impose our culture on anybody, but science is not an impos imposition, science is a solution. So in many ways, the future of the world is in Sanatan Dharma, but don't try to rub it on them saying that you must take up my culture, not necessary. The important thing is, they look for ultimate well-being, not for immediate well-being, that is Sanatan Dharma. Sadhguru, you say that you are always stoned. What is that? I'm sorry? But you look more stoned than usual on Mahashivaratri. <laughs> What's happening with you, Sadhguru? asks <laughs> Ilya from Lebanon. It is Lebanese people. <laughs> it's not legal in Lebanon, that's why. Not yet. <clears throat> I want everybody's falling asleep, so I'm coming there for you. Some Lebanese lady is accusing me that I'm more st stoned than usual. I want to show you I'm doing fine, huh? <laughs> uh, am I... Am I... Am I awake enough, alert enough? See, they're from Lebanon. Somebody is saying I'm more stoned than usual. <laughs> well, see, when we were designing, Adiyogi's face, it took me over two and a half years to get it right. What, it, what is it that was so complex about it? We wanted to get stillness, exuberance and intoxication in one face. Do you think we're somewhere close there? So why is intoxication important? Because if you are not intoxicated, you will die of stress. Yes, that's what I was telling you. There is scientific research to show that the cannabinoids or endocannabinoids produced in the body are up seventy percent for somebody who has just started Shambhavi Mahamudra. Don't ask me what is my percentage <laughs> Seventy percent high means, as I said earlier, it is much higher than what happens even in a sexual intercourse. It's much higher than that. Just sitting here, you blissed out. This is how you become free. Not by denial that you become free. You become free because just sitting here is just so fantastic. Just being alive and breathing is so absolutely blissful. You don't have to do anything else, you're just fine. So, what is special about this day, as we have told you a thousand times, there is a natural upsurge. When there is a natural upsurge, one thing is you must become exuberant. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. You, you must... <laughs> you, you must become exuberant. Hello? Exuberance, exuberance of life. Exuberance of life is wonderful, but if there is no stability, it'll become madness. So, you must become still. You must have the capacity to sit still. I'm sure you can do that. And you need to be a little intoxicated, otherwise you can't do these crazy things, hello. So these three things need to happen. Today the situation is good, so I'm making the best use of it. I want you to make use of this too, hello? To be exuberant, 
to be exuberant, whoa, 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 to be still and intoxicated. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Sadhguru, Shiva used to ride on Nandi. If Shiva was here today amongst us, what would he ride? asks Sarah from Dehradun. See, unfortunately, uh, because, uh, because these things were all uh, probably Mm, not probably, definitely it came uh, either from UK or from Europe at one time. So the power of an engine is measured in horsepower. If it was in India, we would have said bull power <laughs> So you know what he would ride <laughs> Iyad from Lebanon asks, Shiva is the destroyer. Why do we worship the destroyer? Isn't this anti-life? <laughs> Why is this Lebanese girl after me like this? <laughs> well, uh, in Lebanon you're just recovering from winter just now, still on. Well, most of the leaf from the tree is down, most trees are bare. If these leaves which have done their business, if they don't come down, do you think fresh leaf can come up? If... I will spare your grandfather. If your great-great-grandfather still around, would you be here? No. So, the process of life is sustainable only because it is an ongoing cycle of creation, maintenance, destruction. If you get attached to your present existence the way you are, you don't want to get old, you want to get botoxed. You don't want to look old, what's the problem? Hey, what's the problem with me? You don't want to get old, you don't want to die. It's important as we are born, when we were children, we were longing to grow up. When we become adults, why are we hesitating to become old and die one day? <laughs> Because this is the nature of life. If the cycle is broken, there shall be no life. Let me tell you a little story. Can I tell you a story? I'm... <laughs> I'm... I'm asking... I'm asking your permission because for most people, if I say once upon a time, they think it's better. <laughs> This happened not so long ago. Uh, a rich man, a rich family built a nice new house. It is part of the culture here that when you build a new house, generally in the rest of the world, they will party, they'll get drunk and get sick on the second day of going into their new house. But here, <laughs> they will invite a sage, a seer, or a yogi to come and bless their house. So, they invited a yogi. He arrived, he's a yogi, but they welcomed him like a king. They did all the best things that they can do to a guest, fed him well. Then, time to leave is coming. So both husband and wife came, prostrated themselves in front of the yogi and then 
They said, please give us a blessing. Yogi raised his hands and said, first let your father die, then you die, then your children die. They said, what? We welcomed you, treated you like a king, and you're telling me my father should die, I should die, my children should die? The yogi was bewildered. Did I say something wrong? What is this nonsense you're asking all of us to die? He said, I'm not asking you to die. You're anyway dying short. Hello? Are you all dying short? Yes. Right now full of life, but dying short. <laughs> When you are the dying sort, isn't it best that first your father dies? If you die before him, that's not good. If our children die before us, that is not at all good. Hello? So first father dies, then I die, then my children die. Everything is natural order of things, perfect. Hello? So, that is why the destroyer, he must come at the right time. He should not come too early or too late. <laughs> Location from Delhi asks Sadhguru, Himalayas and Kashi are more closely associated with Shiva. Instead of those places, why did you choose Southern India to establish Adiyogi and celebrate Mahashivratri? <laughs> and not everything you choose, some things choose you. Hello, both of you this Lebanese lady has a lot of questions, let me answer them. <laughs> so, <laughs> why Wellingiri Hills? Not my choice. Probably I've said this many times, but you know, she's Lebanese. She's not heard me. Well, right from my infancy, I always had a mountain peak in my eyes. In the background of my vision, always a mountain peak. This will be… this will sound crazy because till I became sixteen years of age, I thought there are mountain peaks in everybody's eyes because it was always there. When I am awake and asleep, it was always there. When I was around sixteen, you know, that's when you really start talking. Then I realized nobody has mountains in their eyes, just me. So I started trekking. I trekked Western Ghats, almost every peak in these seventeen hundred kilometers, from Karwa to Kanyakumari, I did eleven times. <laughs> and climbed every peak. Then I realized I'm not finding it, it's somewhere else. Then thinking it could be because everybody in India was talking about Himalayas. So when I was nineteen, for the first time I went to Himalayas. The moment I saw those peaks, I know it's not there because they are very different in their structure. But from the age of nineteen, twenty-seven years, every year I trekked in Himalayas. So you're asking why am I not feeling cold, that's why <laughs> Because I'm internally air-conditioned, both ways, cold, hot. So, I, we went on looking for the mountain. After some time, it's almost like I'm not going to find it. In 
1987, for the first time, I landed in Coimbatore and I just got off a night bus at around 3.45 in the morning and it just blew me away. I just sat in a place and lost myself for almost an hour and a half. Then I knew it's somewhere here and we started looking. I found it in 1993. I saw the peak, probably you have not seen from here. If you, you know, go a couple of kilometers this way or this way, you will see the seventh hill. Once I saw that peak, the peak in my eyes disappeared. And I knew this is the place. At that time, there were no roads, simply not approachable. We just... an open piece of land. I just said, this is the place. We didn't know who owned it. We did not know it's available or not. But on the eleventh day, after I stepped in on this land, we had registered the land in the name of the foundation. And since then, there's been no looking back. So, I'm not all choice, I'm a slave. Blissful, that's all, but slave. Not everything is my choice. <laughs> Not everything is nobody's choice. <laughs> Please. Barbara from the U.S. asks, Shiva has so many conflicting qualities. He's the greatest dancer, but also sits absolutely still. He's the ultimate ascetic, but he's also married. What, Sadhguru, is the true quality of Shiva? <laughs> well, <clears throat> this is a, a very disturbing issue of modern times, that everybody has to be something. You can't just be just like that. You got to be something. Everybody wants to nail you with one quality. But that's not the nature of a human being. One moment you're wonderful, another moment you're nasty. Hello? You do that or not? Another moment you're blissful, another moment you're a little pensive. So many things. A human being can be so many things, but we are always trying to nail one quality on somebody. Somebody is a good guy, somebody is a bad guy. I have never seen a good guy or a bad guy in my life. Everybody is capable of everything. Hello? But whole cultures are going about saying, these are bad guys, these are good guys. I said, you're bad guys, you okay? <laughs> there is no such thing. This is the beauty of being human and this is the danger of being human, that... You're walking, one step out, you fall on your face. Right step, everything is fine. This is so around you and also within you, every moment. This is why consciousness, so Shiva or you call someone Shiva because he has tasted his nothingness. He has not just tasted his good and bad, he has tasted his nothingness. You definitely cannot call nothingness good or bad. Well, some people will name that also, nothing is bad, I want to be something. <laughs> well, if you are something, you become a quantity. If you become nothing, you become universal and eternal. Nothing means you must understand this by putting a hyphen between no and thing. You are not a thing, are you a thing? You're not a thing. 
If you're just identified with your bones and flesh, you're a thing. But little more fire of life is happening within you. We can't call you a thing anymore. Hello? We can't call you a thing anymore because this is life. So Shiva is exuberant life. You cannot contain him to any particular value, to any particular quality, to <laughs> this little one <laughs> You cannot contain him to this or that. He's capable of being everything. Well, even you are, but you nail your things on one thing or the other. It's... it's time to unhinge yourself. This doesn't mean you'll go wild, no. If your humanity is absent or, I don't know, you put it in a trash can, then you'll have to carry the burden of morality on your head. If your humanity is overflowing, you don't need the burden of morality on your head. That is the story of Shiva. He is clearly telling you he is a living human being. He is not made of a bunch of morals and values and ethics. His humanity is overflowing. Sadhguru, we have time for two more questions. Pooja from South Africa asks, why do we worship Shiva when he was surrounded by distorted and demented beings like Ganas and Rakshasas? Like this. <laughs> See, uh, this is a very serious and painful problem that human societies have carried for generations, for centuries and millennia. If somebody doesn't look like you, you think something terrible should be done with them. Hello? They just don't look like you. They can be just a different gender, they can be a different race, they can be different something. Just different. Because somebody is different, you think they're not all right. How many terrible things have we done simply because somebody looks little different from us? How many terrible things? So once again the same question, he's got ghanas, distorted beings. See, Today the young people see that hairstyle looks distorted to me. <laughs> see this guy shaved off a little bit and left a little bit of hair, looks distorted to me. You can make anything distorted. It doesn't agree with you, it becomes distorted. There is nothing distorted. Why should all of us look the same way? Is there such a rule? Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately, everybody should look the same. Because the whole thing is called industrialization. All of us should look like the same product. Because there is an industry called education, there is an industry called economy, there are so many industries. If you become a nut which doesn't fit into anything, what do we do with you? We want to see that we can make use of you. If we can't use you, what good are you? Well, somebody's looking totally different from us, why should we call them distorted? Maybe we are distorted? Hello? Maybe we are distorted, there is no such thing as distortion. This universe allows every shape, every form, every color, every creed. 
This allows everything. There is no such thing as distortion in this universe. Tell me, is planet Earth distorted? Suppose you look like planet Earth, are you distorted? I'll leave that to you. <laughs> so, your ideas of distortion are rooted in your prejudice as to who is distorted. How do you know you are not distorted? Shiva himself was considered distorted. When... Hey, there is... there is technological problems as to how far I can go. <laughs> so... <clears throat> When, <laughs> like, uh, you know, today is Mahashivratri, the ascetics see that this is the day when he became Achaleshwar, that means he became absolutely still, like a mountain he became. The householders, family people believe this is the day he got married, this is his wedding anniversary. Let me tell you something about his wedding. When... Sati... <laughs> when... <laughs> when his wedding was fixed with Sati, who was... Uh, the daughter of a king. The father completely disowned the girl because she wants to marry this absolutely crazy-looking man with dreadlocks, ash smeared from head to toe, wears elephant skin around his waist, that too freshly skinned, still dripping blood. That's his clothing, that's his dress. So, uh, the father said, no way, you marry this man, it's finished. No, no, absolute no. And somehow she convinces the mother, and the mother seeing the girl is absolutely in love, she yields to this and somehow the wedding is fixed. Then everybody who is somebody, <laughs> all of them arriving, the local small kingdoms, princes, princesses, everybody in their best attire, all coming for the wedding. And Sati is all fully dressed up, everybody is ready. Then Adiyogi Shiva comes for the wedding. Full dreadlock, ash smeared, blood dripping from his elephant skin. And all these, his friends who are all... They even have limbs, they have limbs which have no bones, so you know what all they can do. Even though you got bones, see what all you do. If you had no bones, how many things you would do? They were doing all that. People just saw, oh my God, what is this? And when he arrived, Sati's mother, Meena, saw him, just thought that my girl is going to go with this man, she just fainted. Then Sati knew this is going to be a disastrous marriage now. So she went to him and said, please take on a more socially accepted form. <laughs> he said, what, what, what's wrong with me? He's a little... Not drunk from outside, drunk from inside. 
Then she said, please, my mother has fainted. She will lose her life if she once again sees you like this. Then I said, okay, your mother, all right. And he transformed himself into a resplendent being. In that form, he was called a Sundaramurthy. That means the most beautiful man. So, <laughs> then the wedding happened, then the father also could not believe, wow, this is the man, the same guy? <laughs> this has happened sometimes, hello <laughs> So, this aspect of what is distortion, is all in our minds. If we learn to simply look at things without our own judgments about everything, everything has its place. Hello? A worm, an insect, a bird, a creature, everybody has their place, isn't it? Not just us. And that too among us, they must look like us. If everybody just looked like you, could you live in this world? Hello? Nobody looks like you, that is the blessing we have. If everybody looked like you, finished your... You don't... No, never ask for this. And also, what is it, the problems that you have with people around you? They are not like you, that's a problem. Yes, you can't get along with somebody. Why? Because they are not like you, not just physically, in every other way. Just I want you to imagine, just one more person just like you in your house, can you live there? <laughs> one is too much. So we are glad nobody is like us, hello? We are really glad nobody is like us. If there was one more like us, we will have to exit <laughs> I think there's one more question. Yes, yes, sir. Our last question is from Ashwini in Bengaluru. Do I have to necessarily connect to the persona of Shiva or be a Shiva devotee to experience the possibility of Mahashivratri? <laughs> it is a question. There is a question. <laughs> anyway, this girl is from Bangalore. I don't know how the Bangalore people are doing. Adiyogi is there also. <laughs> Namaskaram to all the Bangalore people. I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> so, do I have to connect? with Shiva or Adi Yogi's persona. This is what we were talking about in the previous question. He has no persona. He can be any way he wants. He can be in such a way that it seems to be a disgusting form or he can be the Sundaramurthy. He can be absolutely aware and he can be completely drunk. He can be anything and anything. So how do you connect with this persona? There is no persona. Persona means you got nailed by the society, that's what it means. Or you took on a certain number of thoughts and emotions, opinions, ideas, prejudices, and you said, this is me. That's a horrible way to live. Hello? You're, this is a... <laughs> See, either you can let your thoughts and emotions determine who you are, or you can determine how your thoughts and emotions should be. 
This is a choice you have. This is what Adi Yogi represents, that you don't allow your thoughts, emotions, ideas, and silly prejudices that you have to define who you are. You define how your thoughts should be, how your emotions should be, how you should be right now, as it, as it is needed for the situation. You are not defined, this is the most important thing. Unfortunately, our education systems, our social structures are always telling you, always telling you that you must define yourself. Define means you have fixed yourself within a boundary. Define boundary means you have created your own personal prison. And then you wonder why you're unhappy. Well, you locked yourself up and why are you not unhappy? If you're not unhappy, I'm disappointed. Hello? <laughs> because if... if you locked yourself, if you wrapped yourself in your own silly ideas and you're not unhappy, then what is the use of my work and my sadhana? <laughs> Spent three lifetimes to unwrap myself. If you're wrapped and still doing great, then what's the point of this? So, you don't have to bother about Adiyogi's persona. There is no such thing. Whatever you like, make it that. He's fine with that. You can see him as a very beautiful man, as a distorted man, you can see him as a yogi, you can see him as a lover, you can see him as a Bhuteshwara, master of all elements, you can see him as a Pashupati, the leader of all the creatures on this planet. There is no end. You make whatever you want. The important thing is, you understand, you are making it. Right now, And this is... this is the only thing that matters, that... <laughs> Adi Yogi Shiva is important in your life because... Wait, huh? All this... Uh... This is... I got it, I got it. <laughs> Wait! The most important reason why Adi Yogi... What is this whole effort about? This whole effort is about you being able to take charge of your life, not looking up for help. Now you're always... See, see, I want you to know the planet is round. Hello? Planet is round? And it's spinning. You look up. Which is up? When something is round and spinning, do you know which is up? You don't even know which is up. So you're always looking up in the wrong direction. The only right direction is to turn inward and take charge of this. Whichever way you look, you're looking in the wrong direction because the only, the only and only precious thing that you have is life. Have you been to a, a funeral and seen a dead man or a woman? Have you? So, de hey, wait. You can love me later. <laughs> Have you seen a dead body? That guy's like this, perfect posture. You go and tell him in his ear, you got hundred crore lottery, you just won. The guy, he's not interested. You go and tell him, 
In your house, backyard, we just found a massive treasure. Not interested. You go and tell him, the prettiest woman in the world has fallen in love with you. Not interested. Just yesterday, this guy was hop hopping all over the place. Today, because this is the only damn thing that you have, life. If you do not make this enhance itself, if you do not make this into something wonderful, look up, look down, look wherever the hell you want, the same mess. Adi Yogi is important for you because the signs of inner well-being. No matter what life does to us, life will do many things. Sometimes pleasant things, sometimes unpleasant things, life will do many things. But how you are should be determined by you, not by situations around you, people around you, you should decide how you are. If you decide how you are, will you choose to be miserable or blissful? That's it, you got it, that's it. <laughs> hey, play some music, come on now, everybody got it. What happened? The drum is broken.
அதிரும் துடியும் உடையான் அழகிய வடிவினன் இவன் யாரோ இரவும் பகலும் சுழலும் உலகும் இசைந்திட அசைந்திடும் இவன் யாரோ மழையும் வெயிலும் குளிரும் பனியும் இசைந்திட அசைந்திடும் இவன் யாரோ
போல மனம் உருகி உருகி உடன் கரைதிடவே தேகம் தாண்டி உண்மை உணர வேண்டி உயிர் ஜனன மரணம் அதில் அழியா உயிர்களுக்கு யோகம் தந்த என் குருமணியே மோன மொழியும் இரு கருணை விழியும் என தகுந்தை அழியவென வருகிறது உடுக்கை அடிக்க என திதயம் துடிக்க மன பொய்மை அழித்திட வந்தாய் நீ ககன வெளியில் திரு நடனம் புரிந்து என் மெய்மை உணர்த்திட வந்தாய் The repertoire of the Georgian National Ballet, Sukhishvili, is a story of struggle, suffering and heroism of the Georgian people. The performers portray the Georgian soul through their fabulous costumes and gorgeous choreography, depicting men, both warlike and noble, and stunningly beautiful women, gracefully moving across the stage. They have been supported and sponsored by the government of Georgia for a special performance today at the Isha Yoga Center. Let's welcome the Georgian National Ballet, Sukhishvili, to the stage. Start your day with Sadhguru with free guided practices and tools and access Sadhguru's timeless wisdom on a wide range of subjects on the new Sadhguru app. The app also includes a repository of charms, powerful meditations and daily processes. Download the Sadhguru app and take a step with Sadhguru towards a life of joy and fulfillment. As my neuroscientist side 
taught me over the years that our brain is always changing. If you don't learn how to direct this change, it can go any different ways and you cannot control it. This technology that is packed inside the inner engineering was very useful for me. I can um, make more beneficial conscious choices and that makes everything perfect. So it's a global teaching and everyone needs to learn.
Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to express our gratitude to our partners, without whom and without whose support this event would not have been the same. We would like to thank our elite partner, Cholamandalam Investments and Finance, and its chairman, Sri Velian Subaya. Our prime partner, Isha Life, our co-partners, Health School Pharmacy, Access Bank, and Yes Bank. Our support partners, Podis, Wonder Cement, Sriram Transport Finance Corporation, Tata AIA Life Insurance Company Limited, Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance, Indus Ind Bank, and Kushi Ambient Media Solutions. And countless volunteers and devotees for their overwhelming support and generous contributions. Hey, what's happening, all of you? I want to see some life. You never saw such a vigorous dance anywhere. Come on now, show me some life. So, as you know, uh, we launched, for the first time we launched uh, Save Soil Moment in the last Mahashivratri in 2022, and it went around the world. You know the whole story, 30,000 kilometers, 27 nations. We also went to Georgia, and uh, today, 81 nations are in the process of framing soil policies for long-term well-being of soil ecology. This has not just happened because just Isha Foundation, or all of us working for it, yes we have, but so many millions of people around the world stood up for this. Most of them we don't know who they are, but they all stood up and supported and still continuously on the social media, the influencers, everybody is supporting us. But here I have a bunch of people for you who some of them cycled long distances, some of them ran, some of them walked. Anybody crawled? No. So, I don't know all the names, but here this is Natalie from uh, France. And uh, she rode all the way from France to here on a bicycle over 9,000 kilometers. Look at her. She sleeps with her helmet on. <laughs> Huh? We can even lift her. Huh? Look at her. <laughs> this is a safe soil champion. <laughs> like this, so many of them, I don't know all the names. Tamil Arasi. Tamil Arasi and what tell your names? Huh? Ritik Saini. Ritik Saini. Mohit. Mohit. Yashas. 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 Jaychandra. Jaychandra. Diego. 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 Sahil. Sahil. Anati. Anati. Vivek. Vivek. So, as I said, some cycled, some ran, some walked, some crawled. <laughs> but the important thing is, these young people, their hearts are not looking for love affair in the neighborhood. Their hearts are filled with love for this planet. That's what we need today. <laughs> Genuine love for what sustains us what nourishes us, what makes our life. We bow to these young people for making this happen. Fantastic, let's give some music. Huh? Go, 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 go! <laughs> you must dance when they do the music, okay? <laughs> Otherwise nobody believed you walked. <laughs> Le 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 le
Also known as Chorasta Ram, Ram Miriala is a songwriter, composer, vocalist, and an enchanting flute player. His heartwarming rendition, Marty, touched the hearts of millions of people during the Conscious Planet Save Soil movement. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ram Miriala. Consecrated by Sadhguru, Linga Bhairavi is an exuberant expression of the Divine Feminine. Powerful rituals and offerings at Linga Bhairavi assist people in every step of their life, from birth to death. These offerings create an opportunity for one to receive Devi's abundant grace and realize their full potential. You can register at lingabhairavi.org slash arpanam to make these offerings online. There are so many patients that have their problems stemming from just the right breathing. Sadhana involves a lot of breathing. When you do sadhana regularly, there's a certain discipline that comes in your system. It calms you down, 
it gives you more control over yourself. So I'm a respiratory physician, Anna, and I cannot tell you how much difference this can make to the lives of not just healthcare professionals, but everyone on this planet. We'd be a better planet with more in engineering. Body, mind, energy should become your tools that you can use them effectively. Once you put in a certain amount of sadhana, then you see, suddenly your body and mind behaves and it works for you. No matter what life throws at you, you will see that nothing really knocks you off, doesn't matter what. Designed by Sadhguru, Purnanga is an opportunity for you to live and grow in the lap of a realized master. Purnangas commit themselves to a minimum of three years to establish themselves in sadhana. The program offers the participants an opportunity to be a part of Sadhguru's vision to craft a conscious planet. In human life, if life allows us a privilege that we can create something which is bigger than ourselves. That's the greatest privilege. There is no greater sense of fulfillment for a human being. Guru ne siksha le ka guru te tlu gal guna Guru ne siksha le ka guru te tlu gal guna Azuni kaina vani abba kaina Thala pucha vile kathalu pettu loodu no Thala pucha vile kathalu pettu loodu no Vishwada virama vinuravema Vishwada virama vinuravema Oh, 
ప్రబలను ఒకట కట్టి వీడితే చివరకు మిగిలేది జ్ఞానమే ధ్యాసతో చేసేది ఏదైనా ధ్యానమే తన్మయమై చేయుదేదైనా యోగమే హమానందమే పరమానందమే అహమే వీడితే బ్రతుకు సుమగంధమే ఆనందమానందమే పరమానందమే ప్రతి మనసాధునే ఉండాలి కలువల మౌనం ఆనందమే కురిసే మిన్ను ఆనందమే మురిసే మన్ను ఆనందమే చూసే మనసు ఉంటే ప్రతి మనిషి దైవమే కువియే కాదా నిజమైన స్వర్గమే హమానందమే పరమానందమే song is about today's celebration mahashivaratri and uh, it's about it, the song talks about what shiva means to us for the whole mankind the song is mahadeva ఆత్మలోని శివుని ననుగా సోది ఆత్మలోని శివుని ననుగా సోది ఉంచి నిశ్చలముగ భక్తి నిలిపేనేని ఆత్మలోని శివుని ననుగా సోదించి నిశ్చలముగ భక్తి నిలిపేనేని సర్వముక్తుండగును సర్వము బుతానగు సర్వముక్తుండగును సర్వము బుతానగు విశ్వదాభిరామ వినురవేమా విశ్వదాభిరామ వినురవేమా శివమెత్తి ఆడు శివరాత్రి నేడు శివయ్య నీకు తోడు శివమెక్తి ఆడు శివరాత్రి నేడు శివయ్య నీకు తోడు శివ 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 శివనామహోరు అంబరం అంటే లాడు శివ 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 శివనామహోరు అంబరం అంటే లాడు అవతులని దాటి ఆనందంలో తడిసే అవకాశం ఇచ్చాడు కరుణామయుడు తరియింపాజేయ వరమై వచ్చాడు మన కోసం మహాదేవుడు సారా పిలిచావా చాలు తానే దిగి వస్తాడు 
ప్రేమతో మన సారా పిలిచావా చాలు తానే దిగి వస్తాడు నిలకడగా నీవు ధ్యానించి చూడు నీలోనే ఉన్నాడు నిలకడగా నీవు ధ్యానించి చూడు నీలోనే ఉన్నాడు ద్వైతం అద్వైతం దారేదైనా గాని తీరం తానవుతాడు రాజు పేద రాజు పేద అంటూ తేడాలే లేవు భక్తుంటే లొంగిపోతాడు Shiva the next song is about our beloved Sadhguru Urvi janunu parama yogi swarunu chusi tegadu vare kaani teliyaleru Urvi janunu పరమ యోగీశ్వరుని చూసి తెగడు వారే గాని తెలియలేరు అమృత పురుషులను హస్తమెరు అమృత పురుషులను హస్తమెట్లరు గును విశ్వదాభిరామ వినురవేమా విశ్వదాభిరామ వినురవేమా ఎట్లా రుణము తీర్చుకోము సద్గురు ఏమిచ్చి నిన్ను కొలుసుకోము ఈ నేల దే పుణ్యము స్వామి మా కాలమే ధన్యము ఎట్లా రుణము తీసుకోము స్వామి ఏమిచ్చి నిన్ను కొలుసుకోము పుణ్యము స్వామి మా కాలమే ధన్యము ఎట్లా రుణము తీసుకోము స్వామి నీ మేలు వెలగట్టలేము మానవ జాతే కాదు స్వామి నేను చూసి చెట్టు పుట్టా మురిసేను మాట 
మాటలో నా స్వామి మానవత్వాన్ని వినిపించావు మోటారు పైకెక్కి స్వామి యువతలో మగత విధులించావు
ಕಷ್ಟಿದಕ್ಕಿ ನಿಂಡು ಮಟ್ಟೆರ ಮೂಲಾದನ ಒಟ್ಟಿ ಮಟ್ಟೆಗ ಅಂಟಾವೇಮೋ ಮನುಗಳ ಪುಟ್ಟೇರಿ ಗಿಟ್ಟೇರಿ ಮಟ್ಟಿ ಲೋನೆ ಗದರ ಮಟ್ಟೆರ ಕುಟುಕಾರಂ ಮೊಸೇರಿ ನಿವಾರಂ ಅನಮಯ್ಯ ಕವಿತಿ ಸೇ ಮಮಕಾರ ಮಟ್ಟೆರ The folk star of Rajasthani music, Mame Khan, hails from a family of celebrated folk musicians. He has taken Rajasthani folk music to more than 60 countries around the world, including the Khan Film Festival. He has captivated his audiences with his singing in numerous popular Hindi films and prestigious music festivals over the past two decades. We're pleased to present to you the vivacious Mame Khan and Tribe. I decided to do inner engineering because I just felt pretty burnt out after my season. I don't know, I just needed something to kind of get me back going. I come here and I feel like I, I get more clarity and just am more relaxed and, and obviously happy. I, I just think it's cool that there's so much time and energy devoted to growth and like turning inward um, because truly it really is the most important thing you can do in your life. system, the period between 3.20 a.m. to 3.40 a.m. is known as Brahma Muhuratam. This period is considered the most significant time of the day for spiritual sadhana as there is an extra support from nature. You must do a process for which you have been initiated for. It bears maximum fruit. of the way the planet is behaving in relation to your system. Suddenly, a certain spark of aliveness will happen within you. Stay awake and stay tuned during Brahma Muhuratam and experience the power of this auspicious night of Mahashivratri in the presence of Sadhguru. चेक हां ब्रो ये आ रहा जा रहा है सिग्नल इसमें किट हिल रहा है इसका हां 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 चेक ओके मैंने अपना अपना माइक दे दिया सर चेक 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 aya 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 chat increase level increase level and frequency dile dile increase level increase level chalo check hello we would like to thank our elite partner Chola Mandalam Investments and Finance and its chairman Shri Velian Subaiya our prime partner Isha Life our co-partners Health School Pharmacy Access Bank and Yes Bank our support partners Podis Wonder Cement Shri Ram Transport Finance Corporation 
Tata AIA Life Insurance Company Limited, Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance, Indus Ind Bank, and Cushy Ambient Media Solutions. We are grateful to each of our partners, without whom this event would not have been the same. that every human being lives in a consecrated space. At Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in Tennessee, Sadhguru is creating a spiritual city, a vibrant community focused on conscious living. It is also a powerful space for self-transformation and offers a wide range of classical yoga and meditation programs to support one in living a life of joy and fulfillment. Visit Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in Tennessee year-round. Located near Nandi Hills in Bengaluru, Sadhguru Sanidhi includes many energized spaces for self-transformation. Nada is a powerful deity consecrated by Sadhguru for health, prosperity, overcoming obstacles and exploring the mystical dimensions of life. There are several rituals and processes. Dosh Nivarana Arpanam, Kal Sarpaseva, Naga Aarti, and Naga Snanam for one to benefit from Naga's abundant grace. Devotees can also participate in the Yoga Sandhya at the Yogeshwar Linga every day, as well as the spectacular Adi Yogi Divvidarshan. Sadhguru Sannidhi is open every day from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Everyone irrespective of caste, creed or religion is welcome to benefit from this space. If you're feeling tension, anxiety, your own intelligence is turned against you. If you understand all human experience is coming from within, how can you not engineer yourself to perfection? In engineering essentially means to bringing yourself to a state where all the faculties of being human works for you. Register to empower yourself and create a joyful and fulfilling life.
पधार Oh 
पावनी बधानो भारे सब लोग मेरे साथ एक शिव मंत्र गाएंगे हम हम लोग आगे बढ़ेंगे
शिवरात्रि की बहुत बहुत बधाई ये मेरे लिए शो नहीं है मेरे लिए एक हाजरी है ऑफरिंग है मेरा भाग्य है मेरी कुदरत है कि मैं आपके सामने गा रहा हूँ जनाब के सामने गा रहा हूँ योगी के सामने गा रहा हूँ स्वामी के सामने गा रहा हूँ मैंने एक स्पेशल गाना तैयार किया है
Ich hasse, ich hasse Märchen. Mann. Ich hasse, ich hasse Märchen. Mann. Ich hasse, ich hasse Märchen. Und da habe ich schön, als du bist schön. Du legst dich an die Märchen. Ich hasse, ich hasse Märchen. Du legst dich an die Märchen. Und da habe ich schön.
Let's say this after me. Yoga, yoga, yogeshwaraya. <coughs> bhuta, bhuta, bhuteshwaraya. Kale 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 Shwaraya <coughs> Shiva Shiva Sarveshwaraya Shambha Shambha Mahadevaya <coughs> Yoga Yoga Yogeshwara Bhuta Bhuteshwaraya Kale 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 Shwaraya Shiva Shiva Sarveshwaraya Shambha Shambha Mahadevaya 
योग योग योगेश्वराय भूत भूत भूतेश्वराय काल काल कालेश्वराय शिव शिव सर्वेश्वराय शंभो शंभो महादेवाय Karam, uh, we are just entering what is referred to as the Brahma Mahurta. It's the first quarter of the day. I won't go into the details. You look it up yourself. What it means. This is the time when you should be in a meditative process. We will do the mantra Shambho, and uh, you utter it. Initially, just go with me. Uh, just go after me, and later on, when it gets at certain pace, you can go with me. And after it's over, when you sit still, if I say anahata, if you happen to be a male, you first find the place where your rib cage meets just beneath that. You place your right hand, the center of the palm, in line with that spot, and put the left hand over it. If you're a female, do it the other way around, first the left hand and then the right hand. The same when I say Vishuddhi, do, do, do this for the pit of the throat. And when I say Agna, do this for that point between your eyebrows. In the Brahma Mahartam Kalo, in the Mutayar Kangla? Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Please hold it. இந்த பிரம்ம முகூர்த்தத்தில் சம்போ தியானம் மேற்கொள்ளப்பட இருக்கிறது சத்குரு அவர்கள் அவர்கள் ஒவ்வொன்றாக சொல்லிக்கொண்டே வருவார்கள் அநாகதம் என்று சொல்கிற போது ஆண்கள் தனது வலது உள்ளங்கை தன்னுடைய மார்புக்கூடு சந்திக்கிற இடத்திலே வலது உள்ளங்கையை வைத்து அதன் மேல் இடது உள்ளங்கையை பதித்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் சத்குரு அவர்கள் அடுத்து விசுக்தி என்று சொல்லுகிற போது அதை தொண்டை குழிக்கு கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் ஆக்ஞா என்கிற போது நெற்றி புருவத்துக்கு நடுவே கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் பெண்கள் இதை மாற்றி செய்ய வேண்டும் இடது உள்ளங்கை மார்பு கூட்டுக்கு நடுவிலும் வலது உள்ளங்கை அதன் மேலும் இருக்க அதிர்த்து விசக்தி என்று வருகிற போது அதே நிலையில் தொண்டை குழிக்கும் ஆக்ஞா என்று சொல்கிற போது நெற்றி புருவத்துக்கு நடுவிலும் கைகளை கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் This is Vishuddhi, pit of the throat, Agna is between your eyebrows, in order of Saladin. Marbukkoodukil sandhikira idam, Marbukkoodukil sandhikira idam, Marbukkoodukil sandhikira idam, idam anahadam enappadum, Thondai kudi inu idam nadupakudhi, adu Vishuddhi inu idam nadu puruvatthukku nadupakudhi, Agna inu idam nadupakudhi, ஒவ்வொரு இடமாக சொல்லப்படும் போது கைகளை அங்கே நகர்த்திக் கொள்ள வேண்டும் திஸ் திஸ் டைம் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் குவார்ட்டர் ஆஃப் த டே பீங் ஹியர் அட் த ஃபுட் ஹில்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெலங்கிரி விச் இஸ் அ கேஸ்கேட் ஆஃப் கிரைஸ் த மந்த்ர ஷம்போ அண்ட் யுவர் ஃபோக்கஸ் அட் தீஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் is one of the best ways for you to become available to grace. It's my wish and my blessing. You must allow this to happen to yourself. Karunayin 
களஞ்சியமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த வெள்ளியங்கிரி மலை அடிவாரத்தில் இந்த பிரம்ம முகூர்த்த பொழுதில் சம்போ மந்திரங்களை ஓதி வெவ்வேறு இடங்களில் உங்களுடைய கவனத்தை செலுத்துவது உங்களுக்கு மிகுந்த நன்மை தரக்கூடியதாக அமையும் இது உங்களுக்கு நிகழ்வதற்கு நீங்கள் அனுமதிக்க வேண்டும் இது நல்ல வண்ணம் உங்களுக்கு நிகழ வேண்டும் என்பது என்னுடைய ஆசையும் விருப்பமும் ஆகும் slightly upward கைகளை மேல்முகமாக வைத்துக்கொண்டு முகம் சற்று மேல் நோக்கி இருக்கும்படி அமர்ந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் கண்ணமடி உட்கார்ந்துக்கலாம் ப்ளீஸ் க்ளோஸ் யுவர் ஐஸ் அண்ட் செட் சே திஸ் ஆஃப்டர் மீ ஷம்ப 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 Shambha 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 
Shambho, 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 Shambho. Shambo, 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 Shambo. Shambo, 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 Shambo. Please stop, Anahata. Place your hand upon Anahata. Ulanga Erte, Anahatu Tlevichikla. Just sit still. Vishuddhi, place your hands at the pit of your throat. Ulangai, tante kulele vechukunu.
Agna, place your palms between your eyebrows, the center of your palm. Kanpurotan Lalavichikla Kai. Kirpur Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendra Haram Sadavasantam Hridayaravinde Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Karpura Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendraharam Sadhavasantam Hridayar Vindhe Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Karpura Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendra Haram Sadhavasantam Hridayar Vindhe Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami
Please relax your hands. Kai Medhuva, Ertikla. And taking your own time, slowly, very slowly, open your eyes. Let's say this after me. Yogaratova Bhogaratova Sangaratova Sangavina Yasya Brahmani Ramate Chittam Nandati Nandati Nandateva Nandati Nandati Nandateva
ಗಜಮುಖನೆ ಗರ್ವ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣನಾಥ ಇಲಿಯ ವಾಹನವನ್ನೇರಿ ತ್ರಿಲೋಕ ಸಂಚರಿಪ ಶಿವನ ಕುಮಾರನಯ್ಯ ಮೊದಲು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪಾದ ಕಮಲಗಳಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ಶರಣಯ್ಯ ವಿದ್ಯ ಗುರುವಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಗುರುವಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಗುರುವಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಗುರುವಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ನನಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತ ಗುರುವೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪಾದ ಕಮಲಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೊದಲು ಶರಣು ಶರಣಯ್ಯ ಕಪ್ಪಡಿಗೆ ಶರಣು ಕೈಲಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ಶರಣು ಹನ್ನೆರಡಾಳುದ್ದ ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲಿಯನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣಿಂದ ನೋಡಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂತ ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಮರೆಯಾಗಿ ಮಲಗಿರುವಂತ ಮಂಟೆದ ಲಿಂಗಯ್ಯ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪಾದ ಕಮಲಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೊದಲು ಶರಣು ಶರಣಯ್ಯ ಆದಿ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಬನ್ನಿ ಆದಿ ಗುರುವೇ ಬನ್ನಿ ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರ ಬನ್ನಿ ಆದಿ ಗುರುವೇ ಬನ್ನಿ ಮಂಟೆದ ಲಿಂಗೋ ಬನ್ನಿ ಮಂಟೆದ ಒಡೆಯ ಬನ್ನಿ ಅಯ್ಯ ಪದವ ಹೇಳೋ ನಾಲಿಗೆಗೆ ಒಲಿದು ಬಾಪ ಧರ್ಮ ಗುರುವೇ ಸಿತಯ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬನ್ನಿ ಪಾವಾಡ ಒಳಗೆ ತುಂಬಿ ತುಳುಕಾಡು ಬಾಪ ಸಿದ್ಧಯ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬನ್ನಿ ಕಂಡಾಯದ ಒಡೆಯ
ನಾನೆದ್ದು ಯಾರ್ಯಾರ ನೆನೆಯಾಲಿ ಆದಿ ಚುಂಚನಗಿರಿಯ ಭೈರುವನ ನೆನೆದಾರೆ ಆದಿ ಚುಂಚನಗಿರಿಯ ಭೈರುವನ ನೆನೆದಾರೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಪರಿಹಾರ ಕಷ್ಟ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಪರಿಹಾರ ಹೂವೆ ಮಾತಾಡುತ್ತಾವೆ ಮೊಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡುತ್ತಾವೆ ಹೂವೆ ಮಾತಾಡುತ್ತಾವೆ ಮೊಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡುತ್ತಾವೆ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬೈರುವನ ಗಿರಿಯ ಮ್ಯಾಲೆ ನೌಲೆ ಕುಣಿದಾಡುತ್ತಾವೆ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬೈರುವನ
ಮಲೆ ಏಳು ಮಲೆ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೇಳು ಮಲೆ ಒಳಗೆ ತತ್ತಲ್ಲ ನಾಟು ಬರ್ತು ರುದ್ರ ಮಲೆ ಮಾದಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸರಿ ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಗುರುವೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಗುರುವೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರು ಯಾರು 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 ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲೋರ್ ಗುರುವೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲೋರ್ ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲೋರ್ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಗುರುವೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರ್ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಶಿವನೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಟ ಬಲ್ಲವರ್ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ದೇವನಂದ ವಾರಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಜನಪದ ಫೋಕ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಶಾ ಗಿವ್ ಅ ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮನ್
We will now behold an ancient ritualistic dance performed in the North Malabar region of Kerala. This dance form was featured in the award-winning film Kantara. Let's welcome our next performers who are from God's own country, the Kerala Fire Dancers, Thayya. life certain times throws things at you which you are not prepared for. We get very very entangled with our relationships, with our work, with our emotions and certain times I feel uh, people talk about mental health but nobody really knows how to deal with it. Inner engineering has changed my outlook to life in a very positive way. After inner engineering, every time I was thrown at a situation, I would not get into panic. So this is uh, a major transformation for me. As actors, we also have the responsibility to look in a certain way, to present ourselves in a certain way. Shambhavi not only makes me feel energetic, it also uh, makes my face look fresh whenever I do it. Sadhguru's social media platforms offer eye-opening insights on various aspects of life. And his profound wisdom has transformed millions of lives around the world. It's given me much more clarity. I was able to connect science with mysticism. Discover the timeless wisdom of a realized master and embark on a journey of self-transformation.
ਚੱਕ ਪੜਿਆ Velu Murugan is a folk singer from Tamil Nadu. He holds the Guinness World Record for collaborating with more than 5000 folk artists and is known for his popular songs such as Aadungada in Nadodigal, Madura in Subramaniyapuram and Otta Sollala in Aadugalam. He has been the recipient of several awards including the Natupura Nayagan Award conferred by the President of India. Let's welcome on stage Velu Murugan. Sivang means uh, to become an anga. You know what's an anga? A limb of Shiva. If we get connected to this dimension of life, health, well-being, prosperity, this thing should happen. Above all, living blissfully is a natural process. Shivanga is a powerful 42-day process for men which includes an invitation into the powerful Shiva Namaskar practice and a pilgrimage to the sacred Velayangiri mountain known as the Kailash of the Sun. When we say Shiva exists in Kailash, his work, his knowing, everything that he knew, he stored it in this place. It is the greatest mystical library on the planet. if one has the necessary ability to access everything that you wish to know about the existence is right there i don't think you can ever remain the same after going through this experience for a spiritual seeker there's really no better place to go project samskriti is an endeavor to nurture and impart india's classical arts designed by sadguru it offers programs to learn powerful chants music bharatnatyam and kalari payata conducted by the rigorously trained students and alumni of isha samskriti the art forms are imparted in their most profound form as possibilities for inner growth and transformation Sadhguru launched Kaveri Calling to support farmers to plant 2.42 billion trees to revitalize River Kaveri. Till date, Kaveri Calling has supported 168,000 farmers to grow 84 million living trees, and their incomes have increased by 300 to 800 percent. Kaveri Calling has been recognized by global bodies such as United Nations as a solution for river revitalization in the tropical world. Sadhguru Exclusive is a unique video streaming platform with the largest catalog of authentic mysticism. Explore the mystical Kailash and Mansarovar, powerful consecrations by Sadhguru, Dream Yantra, Chakras, Enlightenment, Death and much more. These materials are things we have spoken in close groups. They are very potent stuff beyond what is generally offered to the public. Register now to get access to unreleased videos. I'm a Shamruvi Mahamudra practitioner for almost 12 years now. I was going through a lot of turmoil at that point. My father was dealing with uh, cancer. We also lost him through that process. I think I only realized much later that I it helped me deal with things better. Uh it doesn't matter what I'm going through on the outside, but I'm able to respond um and I, I'm able to keep my sanity and able to stay happy. I'm able to maintain my sense of humor whether you want more energy or you want more focus and essentially if you want to be successful in life and your profession i think this is worth a shot hatha yoga is a way of aligning the geometry of your system with the cosmic geometry so that you are a perfect receptacle of everything that's worth knowing learn classical hatha yoga in its full depth and dimension at the powerfully consecrated Isha Yoga Center body mind energy should become your tools that you can use them effectively once you put in a certain amount of sadhana then you see suddenly your body and mind behaves and it works for you no matter what life throws at you you will see that nothing really knocks you off doesn't matter what
Start your day with Sadhguru with free guided practices and tools and access Sadhguru's timeless wisdom on a wide range of subjects on the new Sadhguru app. The app also includes a repository of chants, powerful meditations and daily processes. Download the Sadhguru app and take a step with Sadhguru towards a life of joy and fulfillment. Sangatam in Adigande Saritira Yetirile Yengumpugal Vitirkum Nam Jisai Tamil Patinile Kongu Tamil Pesikindre Kovai Sima Ile Uro ter and the Chihulago, Kudidichi Nam Isha Maninile Nam Isha Maninile Sadguru Vinasi Petty Isan in Arul Petty Walamod Varumo. Sadguru in Asi Petty, Eason in Arul Petty, Varamode Varu Isha Kulaga Kulaga, Nina Yanti Party Party, Kuruti Parade, Parade, Nipoda, the Atam Bodhi, in the Manda Manakira, Isha Puga, the Mamana Sajed. Rasikira Bursano, Amma Gisana Wana Gisano, Isha Pulaga Pulaga, Isha Wana Gipari, Puluti Paraka Paraka, Ipoda the Atam Bodhi, Yinda Mana Mana Kira Mani Gapu, Amma Mana Sayan the Tolu, Batinina Rasikira Bursano, Amma Gisha Wana. Sami a cumbitica boom, Ivanio Apo, Uru Mangidano, Nadu Seritidanum, Yishana cumbitico, boom, Ivanio Apo, Coil Colanda, Urkaragi, Coil Colanda, Urkaragi, Coil Yilla, Uravanaki, Coil Colanda, Urkaragi. Sadhguru, kita dah tahu, nur nol hundred days, 
சேவசாயிகளுக்காக பைக்கில் அவங்க உலக சுற்றி வந்திருந்தாங்க அப்போ சேவசாயிகளுக்காக ஒரு பாடல் பாடணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இப்போ ஆசையை அதனால் இப்பொழுது அந்த சேவசாயில் பாடல் சத்குரு முன்னாடி இப்போ உங்களுக்காக மண்ணு காப்பான் அதுக்கு பேர் மண்ணு காப்பான் பேர் அதுக்கு மண்ணை காக்கும் மண்ணை காக்கும் தக்கு தச சீமையில தென்கிழக்கு பூமியில மூணு போகம் நெல் வேலையோ எங்க முத்தான தேசத்தில எங்க முத்தான தேசத்தில மண்ணை காப்போம் விண்ணை காப்போம் மக்களை காப்போம் வரும் சந்ததியை காப்போம் உலகுக்கு சோறு போட்ட ஏர் உழவன காப்போம் ஏர் உழவன காப்போம் தெற்கு தேச சீமையில தெற்கழகு பூமியில மூணு போதோ நிம்மலையோங்க முத்தார இந்த தேசத்தில எல்லாரோ சொந்தவங்க கட்டி போரடிச்சா ஏத்தமுள்ள சீமீது பிஞ்சி உள்ளையும் புலி விரட்டி பேரு பெற்ற பூமீது பிஞ்சி உள்ளையும் புலி விரட்டி பேரு பெற்ற பூமீது வாரி தந்த பூமி ஐநா உலக நாடுகள் சிறுதானிய நாடா இந்திய நாடா அறிவிச்சிருக்காங்க அதுக்கு முக்கிய காரணமே நம்மளுடைய சத்குரு சுவாமி இந்திய மத்திய அரசாங்கம் இதற்காக சிறுதானிய உணவுகள் நிறையா சாப்பிடுங்கன்னு சொல்லி இப்போ நிறையா அதுக்காக நிறைய செலவு பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க இந்த மூணு நாள் இங்கே நாங்கள் சாப்பிடும் பொழுது இவ்வளோ நாள் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணிட்டோமே அப்படின்னு நினச்சிக்கிட்டு இருந்தோம் அதனால் இந்த வாய்ப்பு கிடைச்சதுக்கு சத்குரு சுவாமிக்கு நன்றி யானகட்டி போரடிச்சா ஏத்தமுள்ள சீமையிது பிஞ்சி முள்ளையும் புலி வரட்டி பெருந்த பூமி இது வரகு கம்பு தினசாம பாதி தங்க பூமி இது வருஷம் பூரா வெள்ளாம விளக்கி நீங்கோ சாமி இது பஞ்சமெல்லாம் சத்குரு ஆசியால பால் சுரக்கோ காத்திகையில் மழையடிக்கோ கரிசம் வந்து கமலமக்கோ காஞ்ச கோர வேர்முடிக்கோ கரம்பு காடு பூமுடிக்கோ நஞ்ச பூஞ்ச சுத்திக்கோ கண்ட நடமோ பால் சுரக்கோ இந்த பஞ்சமெல்லாம் பசி மறக்கோ என் பட்ட பிறகோ பால் சுரக்கோ யான 
கட்டி போரடிச்சா ஏத்தமுள்ள சீமை இது ஏற்கனப்ப தோல் சுமந்து எட்டி நடக்கும் விவசாயி தோல் சுமந்து எட்டி நடக்கும் விவசாயி ஆதவன் உதிக்கும் முன்னே உழுறாம்பாறு தான் தினமும் உழுந்து காத்திடுறா இந்த தேசத்தோட தலை எழுத்த தினமும் உழுந்து காத்திடுறா இந்த தேசத்தோட தலை எழுத்த ஏர்களப்ப தோல் சுமந்து எட்டி நடத்தோம் ஆகி ஏர்களப்ப தோல் சுமந்து எட்டி நடத்தோம் சாகி உதய சூரியம் உழைக்கும் முன்னே உடுறாம் பாரு தான் நிலத்து குருவி கவுதாரி களத்து மேட்டில் கதவடிக்கும் காட குருவி கவுதாரி களத்து மேட்டில் கதவடிக்கும் கரிசமண்ணு கமகமக்கும் காஞ்சகோர வேர் பிடிக்கும் வாய்க்காவரப்பு பாட்டு பாடும் வழிய மறைச்சி ஆட்டம் போடும் வாய்க்கா வரப்பு பாட்டு பாடும் வழிய மறைச்சி ஆட்டம் போடும் இந்த மண்ணு விசம் அந்த 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 மண்ணு விசம் ஓமைந்தழுத்தை ஓதினாலே சூழும் இன்பமே ஆலகாலம் உண்ட சிவ நீல கண்டனே ஓமைந்தழுத்தை ஓதினாலே சூழும் இன்பமே காலை மலர் கொண்ட எழில் மகாதேவனே இந்த மண்ணோ விண்ணோ காக்குகின்ற கண்ணுதலாலே ஆலகாலம் உண்ட சிவ நீல கண்டனே ஓமை நழுத்தை ஓதினாலே சூழும் இன்பமே ஆலகாலம் உண்ட சிவ நீல கண்டனே ஓமை நழுத்தை ஓதினாலே சூழும் இன்பமே அறுபத்தி 
திருமேனி உடைதான சிவயனவோ அருவுருவதான இசைவோ அறுபத்திருமேனி உடைதான சிவயனவோ கங்கை முடி மேல நிந்த கங்காதரனே கவி மோட்சம் தந்தருள்வாய் ஏகபாதனே கவி மோட்சம் தந்தருள்வாய் ஏகபாதனே ஏ அதியோகி சனே காலதேவனே கண் பாராய் சிவவும் 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 ஓம் ஏ ஆதி ஈசனே ஆல காலனே ஆதி ஈசனே காலதேவ சம்போ 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 Sounds of Isha, a group of musicians inspired by their deep yearning and sense of gratitude. They are volunteers at Isha Foundation, giving musical expression to Sadhguru's grace in a unique style. They have performed at several prestigious festivals and events around the world. 
let's welcome our very own Sounds of Isha. Every year, millions of devotees participate in the night-long Mahashivaratri celebrations at the Isha Yoga Center in person as well as online. Creating a conducive atmosphere for offering a powerful spiritual possibility on such a large scale requires enormous effort and resources. We invite you to contribute towards Maha Annadanam, the sacred offering of food to the devotees and also towards other arrangements to help devotees experience this sacred night of Shiva, the Adi Yogi. Know the joy of fulfillment by contributing towards the spiritual well-being of humanity. One big moment that's happening right now is the farmers producer organization movement. Today we are managing twenty-five former producer organizations. In the next year or maximum eighteen months, we want to make this into twenty-five thousand farmers. This can be scaled up into a massive possibility. A farmer producer organization or FPO is a company formed by farmers. With Isha's support, twenty-five FPOs are being established in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka to bring economic well-being to twenty-five thousand farmers. Farmers are being trained under Isha's guidance to become entrepreneurs which will enable them to lead and manage large FPOs. These FPOs will help raise farmers' income and productivity. If from the sale is deposited in our bank account, it is that easy. Today, when we market or produce, we receive a good response. Many doors are opening for us. This is because of the trust and goodwill people have for Isha. Now we feel excited about agriculture.
<clears throat> For all of you who are below 12 years of age, No, I mean to say really twelve years, not in your brain alone <laughs> So we are starting a new process here. The Tamil children from anywhere in the country or outside, a child below twelve years of age, if they can come and render one teva devaram, they will get a prize, a special prize. So, Tamil children, wherever they are, or whatever language you are, if you can render a Devaram at the Adiyogi, you will get a prize throughout the year, any day. You can come and get, claim the prize. So please make sure it happens that thousands of children should learn Devaram and render it here for Adiyogi. Let's make this happen. <coughs> Well, all of you who are over twelve years of age, <laughs> time bar for you. So you could do something else. As I said, we have lit the Maha Yoga Yagna. We have a commitment in the next twenty-four months, at least two billion people on the planet. That includes you, don't be like that Gamparodia, you know? You count everybody except yourself, <laughs> including you. Everybody must have at least a twelve to fifteen minutes process where they can close their eyes and focus upon their well-being. We will offer an array of, uh, you know, meditations and stuff. Please make use of this. <laughs> Inna ipuri Tamil na ipuriya. Panendu vais killer na ningi na. Panendu vais killer kiri kollande. Oru te oru devaram. Vanda adi yogi karpane pannanga na. Aur koru parija dikko. Inna ke ko enda oru mukhya mana parija orke na mukurukupuro. Idnaala hai. Nama grama grama galle. Devaram kattikar mari. Pandey kono pandey and vice skill er kar koran dekhe. Inge vanda adi yogi karpane panna kadai ma oru parisi kadi ko. Ninge lamme ungongo orle. Chinnna koran dekhe lamme. Oru puttu na rukudu kuni the inda nokatle. Enna oru naal thungle enna ipuri idwingle enna ipuri oru oru naal. Oru naal thungle enna ipuriya. We will be launching a movement, a global movement called Conscious Planet because there is only one problem on the planet, human being. There is simply no other problem. If this human being is little more sensible, how many problems will disappear right now? Hello? So what is the problem with the human being? Human being is the peak of evolution on this planet. The flower of life on this planet, of all the lives, most intelligent, most competent, most capable, but one big mess. Because once you attain to this level of intelligence and capability, everything that you do is supposed to happen consciously. The moment you do the same things compulsively, unconsciously, Humanity is a disaster. That's where we are right now. Not that we have some other enemy, <laughs> we are doing fine by ourselves. People are expecting some aliens will come and trouble us, but we are doing great by ourselves, we are capable of destroying ourselves totally out of our own silly nonsense. Hello? The problem is just this instinctive, compulsive, reaction to everything. What we need is a conscious planet. Conscious planet does not mean planet is going to glow with a halo, it is you and me. 
human beings have to become conscious. So in this direction, we'll be launching this moment. Every one of you should do your bit because this is your world. Are you going to g give it away to me? Hello? You're giving away the planet to me or is it yours? If it's ours, only we can make it happen. People have looked up and waited, looked down and waited, no. You can wait for an eternity, nothing is going to happen. If we want something to happen in this world, we got to make it happen, there is simply no other way. To make this happen, there are many things needed. We have the necessary energy, we have the necessary tools. What is needed is willingness from your side, that's all that's missing. You always think somebody else need to be fixed, that's not the point, it's you and me. If you make a percentage of improvement within yourself, there is a percentage of improvement in the whole world. Hello? How much percentage are you willing? Yeah, you know. You think I'm so naive to believe you're hundred percent going to be transformed tomorrow morning? I'm saying at least fifteen minutes a day. Fifteen minutes a day, yourself, each one of you, I'm sure you're capable of influencing at least another hundred people. Hundred percent, you said? At least another hundred people, fifteen minutes a day. They must do something to turn inward for their own well-being, not for somebody else's sake. This is not service. This is something that's most essential because this will multiply. Will you wait for these disasters to happen or preempt the disaster? Because mental illness is going to multiply like you have not imagined. And don't think you are exempt, don't think it's going to happen to somebody else. It can happen to you and me, not me <laughs> But it can happen to any human being. So, let's not wait for a disaster and then try to fix it. Very easily we can preempt this disaster if you bring a certain amount of conscious way of existence. This is what the effort is. It is... Uh, I know people think it is naive to think that world is going to become conscious. Well, they will become conscious, I'm sure about that. Will they do it after the disaster strikes or before? That's the only question. It's my wish and my blessing. We must turn around before the disaster. What do you think, all of you? Yeah. What year? Before or after? Before. before the disaster. We must fix it before the disaster. Only a fool will fix it after the disaster. Hello? Yes. Only utter fools will try to fix things after the disaster because post-disaster, you may not have the capability to fix it. Before disaster, we are still standing on our legs, we can fix it, it's possible to do it. So, be with us and uh, we will be launching a whole process as to how people can access this. This is the first time in the history of humanity that we can sit in one place and talk to the entire world. When there is such a possibility, if we don't do what we want to do, it just shows that we don't have enough love in our hearts, that's all it is. There is no other excuse, we just don't care. That's the only reason why things have not happened. Hundred years ago it was different, now it's possible. Let's make it happen. Tamil, so let's wing lakuncho. Time. Oru the vidhi ponar vodla boomi engira yekkathai naam thodangir krom. In the yekam, mule na marundu muru mayana ottori pay naan idhar par kren. Ottori pinral, ningal noor sadavida mande solvir gal. Naan adi nambu maatrain endu sunlo naam kora. Kurainda bhatcham padane indi ne mudangal oru naalikke. Ulne lai maatrath kaaga mahirchi kaaga anandath kaaga. Ningal Uruka Vendum. In the Padan in the Nimudangal, Ningal Mutum Saidal Podade, Kurinda Burcham, Nuru Pere Hulke, in the Takathe Ningal Air Padati, our hill, Tangal Ulnil in Alanakaga, or Padan in the Nimudangalinum Denamum, Mudale de Segra with a Maha Ningal Ameka Vendum. In the Ulaham, Mananile Sarnda or Pirun Totre, Edrubar Turkade, other Nair in the Perakis, Arisa Yakodade, 
நேர்வதற்கு முன்பே அதை தடுப்பதற்கான தகுதியும் திறமையும் நமக்கு வேண்டும் ஒரு தீமை நேர்ந்த பிறகு அதை சரி செய்ய பார்ப்பவன் ஒரு முட்டாளாகத்தான் இருப்பான் ஒன்று ஏற்படுவதற்கு முன்பே அதை தடுத்து நிறுத்துவது தான் புத்திசாலித்தனமாக கருதப்படுகிறது இந்த உலகம் அத்தகைய ஒரு தன்மையை எதிர்பார்க்கிறது இது நீங்கள் செய்ய வேண்டியது பிறருக்கு செய்கிற சேவை அல்ல நீங்களே உங்களுக்கு செய்யக்கூடியது எனவே இந்த விழிப்புணர்வை நாம் கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் Well, to make this happen, all of you, <laughs> this magnificent night, should I congratulate you? Thank you or bless you that every day must pass like this in your life. Need not be dancing, need not be loud music, but the same overflow of joy should happen, music or no music, what the hell? Hello? Yes. No music, can't you be joyful? Hello? Yes. No music, can't you be joyful? Yes. yes. This is all there is. Life is just a brief amount of time. You want to make a mess out of it, you're welcome. But what's the point? What is the point? This didn't happen, that didn't happen. So many things didn't happen. but you came with nothing and you're going back with nothing. I'm just reminding you, there is no container service at the end. So, there is nothing to take, all you have is whether you made this experience of life a wonderful process for yourself and everything else around you or not, this is all you have. So Mahashivratri should not be one night every day, you must be like this. It does not mean you have to do the same things, whatever you do, you can be like this. Just listen to the de Devaram, how it is, if the children have to learn, first the adults have to learn, that's why I'm giving you a sample of this.
Please say this after me. Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva Shambha Shambha Shiva 
शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो
शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शंभो शिव शंभो शिव शंभो Bye. 
As we close the 29th Mahashivratri celebrations, we extend our deepest gratitude to the Office of the Honorable President of India, Office of the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu, various departments of the Tamil Nadu government for their support in organizing an event of this magnitude, particularly the Coimbatore District Administration, the police, forest, and fire departments, Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board, Ikkarai Bulambampati Panchayat, Public Works Department, State Health Department, Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, State Highways Department, and the Food Safety Department. We would also like to thank the members of the press and media, our social media partners, as well as the village panchayat leaders for their support. Lastly, our viewers who stayed with us for the entire Mahashivratri telecast, over 200 TV channels. Thank you, and may the grace of Adiyogi be with you. Namaskaram.